with nothing rich, then nothing gain. Take a risk or lose the chain. And if your why doesn't make you cry, then the price of success will probably be too high. But realize, look, your mind is like a t shirt. When it stretch, it never go back to its original size. So just try. We all wanna get in big rooms for what we pursuing. But the biggest room in the world is room for improvement. No line on the podcast. Okay. That's another podcast episode 151. Happy anniversary on my day ones. This is our. our Rehash of the Valentine's Day episode, 131 episodes. Talk about two for 20? Yeah, we did. Do y'all want to talk about that again? When I put what's a good date, we're over that. Because two for 20 could probably be a good date. But before we start, I got B-Hood behind the camera, Young Matt behind the camera, Keese is over there, Liddy's here, yep. Brother L's, Deem the Great, Zane is in here, and Chris Featherston. This is the Chris Featherston Podcast. Make sure you say the Featherston when you say podcast. <laughs> On top of that, Lydia that pisses that him off every week. <laughs> <laughs> it should piss me off. Every if it don't, week, if it don't piss me off, why is it pissing him off? I mean, I do I look pissed off? Yep. You look so agitated. That, this, is, what? this is his agitated face. Yeah. When he don't talk and he yeah. just be like, be like readjusting and shuffling and shit. Hands in the pocket. Yeah. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. I haven't even looked over here. Hands in the pocket. Okay. This is why you about to steal on a nigga. You put your hands on <laughs> By the time you reacted to pull that hand on it, bang, bang, I done jabbed you. What you doing with your hand in your pocket? Wow. Dang, what, you want to fight me, bro? No, I'm just saying. That's just the analytical. <laughs> I'll never fight you, man. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. Where do we we going to start no, with Valentine's Day? Yeah, we might as well. I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. It's been fuck Valentine's Day since day one for me, right. so it's still um, on that. It's still on that. Wow. Yeah. So do y'all um do y'all purposely not do shit for y'all woman on um, the 14th? I just want to ask. I do stuff I for her on it. the regular, so I don't. No, I'm not, I didn't ask that. I asked, do you purposely no, just not a, do shit another on the 14th? It's just so do you get her stuff on the 14th, yes or no? No, I'm not going out my way to get anything that's at the store that y'all are all buying in sync. With did, I didn't say that. Did you get, do you get her something on the 14th? Negative. Do you? Maybe. Do you? So it, maybe. So if the thought crosses your mind to like get her something, you kind of like, thoughtful. Do you rebuke it? Do you like? Oh, nah, <laughs> no. It, it wouldn't be because it's Valentine's Day. I don't even know. No, I'm with you, bro. I'm yeah. with fuck Valentine's Day. I'm just saying, like, are we purposely not? No, I'm doing not going out like, my way not like this, to. But I'm gonna get it tomorrow. I right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, I'm gonna no, get it tomorrow. No, not on today. But I'm against going out to dinner and stuff on that day. Maybe yeah. Crowded for no reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. People going out to and they taxing. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, the prices be the same. Mm, okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Don't get me. <laughs> no, Dave, don't look at the tag. <laughs> right. Okay. Them, them good dash, taxing, I'm telling you. I don't know. Go there the next day and see if it's the same price. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I, I'm just saying. Test it out. We went out twice last week. I'm sure. Yeah. So How was that? It was cool. We went to Luce Segundo. Oh, I love that place. How does how does, mm -hmm. how does um yes. for everybody on the, the couch we've yes. been in long relationships? So it's only one yeah. segundo. I mean, and it's segundo, segundo means se whatever. It means <laughs> second. second. Yeah, I, I know that because there's one in Grant. You just mad I went first. How does how does dating change for y'all? Yo, let me ask y'all a question. How does dating change for y'all? Like as we've been in relationships for like years. You said how does what? How does dating change for us? It don't change. For me. My energy is the same. I told you the same as like the first the first date. Dating your girl. It is for me. It is for me. It is. I still. I still try to take my girl on dates on a regular basis. I just I mean, I agree with I'm that. Not, yeah. I'm so not talking about the acts. No, hold on. Time out. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to pull up on me. Yeah, <laughs> no, I did not. I've been saying that shit since day one. Keep dating your girl. But I, you ta I, you're taking it in a literal sense. I don't think he means, like, are you still you, dating? You're saying yeah. the dynamic? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, the dynamic of your relationship. Y'all are more comfortable with each other. It's not necessarily, you know everything about this person to a degree. You kind of talk about different yeah. stuff. How do you keep it, like, new or, like, fresh? Yeah. Fresh. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Like, you can date her. Like, you can take it to the same spots or whatever. But how do you keep it fresh? Like, what do you do to change it up? Mm. Like, within the date. Mm. I don't know if it's a change up. I think people just lose the energy to even do those things. Because most of the time when people are dating at the beginning, it's to... You know, get to the box, right? So you're putting <laughs> extra, you're putting extra energy into that. Right. So me awesome, just man. keeping the same energy to me, I, I don't think the date changes. Like y'all said, the conversations change because now we got a kid and we talk about different stuff. But mm -hmm. as far as like my energy on the actual date, no, it hasn't changed. Okay, going rock climbing is still going rock climbing. It's just I've yeah. been with the girl for going on four years now. And I think that's what might keep the spice though doing stuff that's new because now you're keeping newness within the dating. Yeah. Back then, when you first started, you guys were new to each right. other. Now yeah. you got to... Like, Everything was new. You got to bring the newness now because it's not you anymore. You're not the new thing. Right. And just creating experiences. So that's why I wanted to ask y'all. We talked about two for 20 extensively. <clears throat> <laughs> right? Because I, I said it wasn't a date. 
And it, it and I'm gonna I'm gonna backtrack. I'm gonna backpedal a little bit. It can be a date. It's not a date with Kadeem. That's not a Kadeem experience. Got you. That's apologize. Somebody to else might apologize take to me right now. I respect that. I'm not apologizing. <laughs> I want my apology no, you, right I, now. I, I, honestly, you should. Y'all didn't see my poll. I was like, "What's hard for you to say?" Hey, I no, apologize. Oh, crazy. Ain't nobody seen your poll. <laughs> no, I want to no. see your poll. P O L L. I saw the poll. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> you got a five pounder, bro. P O L L. Right. What's harder for you to apologize to say I need help or to say I love you? My answer is I apologize. Right. <laughs> it ain't. I need help. If I needed help with something, I would ask. Yeah. And if I love you, I say it. Uh, apologize. It's uh, a, apologies. For sure. Yeah. What? I gotta really think I did something wrong. Yeah. Apologize. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I, I think you should have put. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. That's though, yeah, that it's was... not hard. Like if I was actually wrong, it's not hard for me to say it. Yeah. If I was actually wrong, but yeah, somebody right. might you gotta convince but somebody somebody like, 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 like you're he's actually gonna find wrong. Loopholes. It's not that hard. I was. I was not wrong for me. I'm talking about me. If I know I'm wrong, you're like you come to me and you're genuinely like. Okay, this is what I feel like you did wrong to me. Even though I can't see it in that moment, I will at least be like, I apologize. I made you feel like that. I hate that. No. Yeah, no, like, you know that. what I'm saying? Like, no, but it's still like, even though I can't genuinely see it, because you might go down the road and be like, damn, okay, now I see what you're talking about. Because no, the same thing you happened made to me. Apology, that's that's no, it's no, not, not, not genuine. I think, I think it's not apologizing for how I made you feel is valid. I do. It is. I think the sarcasm behind it isn't, because half the time we come in okay, at okay, it with Okay, okay, with the emotion behind it. Wait, there's a difference between. I'm sorry I made you feel that way versus I'm sorry you felt that way because the I made matters. That, I, no, I, I made that's accountability. Like, I, I, I made you feel, I made you feel like that. that. Versus, the two aren't the oh, same. Sorry like, you felt that way. I um, apologize you continue and I was talk. wrong. Sure you, like, they're not always the same. Like, sorry. The you gotta bill. make sure you like subscribe hit the bell. Hit the bell. <laughs> <Hit the> bell. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I think men encounter that too because you're not necessarily wrong. I think looking at the big picture, you do stuff differently. Yeah. You have different things that you care about. You might care about. I don't have an example, but you might care about like this more than that, and then you look yeah. over her feelings in the grand scheme. But it I really got to care about how she right feels. Right thing. That's to apologize fair. for it, yeah. right? If I made you feel a ways, and I don't care that you feel that way, I'm still not apologizing. No, you know what? Though? Mm. I feel like <laughs> I'm not, I'm telling you. Well, that used to be important to me. It used to be important to me that somebody uh, like agreed with me and, and apologized for shit. Nowadays, I don't need that. I just need you to say that you hear what I'm saying and it makes sense. That part. Tell me you understand what, what I said. Doesn't make sense. I don't care Thank if you don't you. agree. But it's, I don't care if you don't agree. Can you follow my train of thought? What, no. Just, what if I can't? What if your train of thought is done? I keep talking about this. I was telling. I'm just talking about dates. I was telling my partner that uh, I was here. telling him like it's not even about like you agreeing with me or validating me. It's just you letting me be able to say how I feel without you arguing back to me about my perspective on the situation. Because I could have a perspective and you may not agree with it, but it's still my perspective. Right. True. So, at, the, at the same time, though, like you can't have that and like try to make an argument out of it. If you're just expressing how you feel, perfectly fine. Like, hey, I just want jump. I just want to be heard. Or right. on this, like that's perfectly fine. But if you're trying to make or, like convince no, me you. that you're right or there's a right or wrong in this in this conversation, mm -hmm. then how you feel has to be validated by logic. It can't just be like, oh, I feel this way. But the right or wrong comes in when you're like, no, that's not what happened. No, well, you can't tell me. You can't tell me that's not what happened. Because I was there. This is what happened to me. No, no, it's not what happened to you. Have y'all seen the progressive? You felt that way. That's my perspective. Have y'all seen the progressive commercials where they throw out the flag on some challenge shit? Yeah. Oh yeah. I love that. I, I wish that was real life. Because they be really... Be, no, because who's going to come back with the actual tape of what just happened? Right. Y'all got cameras in the house? They be like, oh, no, I didn't say that. You be like, nigga, yes, you did. Throw that. Run it no. back. Fuck Bro. how you feel. This is, what happened. this is what happened. what happened. Nah, anyway, cameras come in handy. No. we actually have a good segue. We'll go back to dating and guys' gifts. I know y'all don't really care what guys get for gifts, but... Women argue with their emotions. Guys get gifts. That's a good segue. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> women, uh, women argue with emotions. Let's listen to this clip. See what what's up. Oh, sorry, got oh music playing. Tori's copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy, bro. That should be man. Y'all hate toy lanes. That's cool. What? I do. I don't like you. You sound like a female, what? bro. Oh my. God. I don't sound like a female. Yes, you do. I don't. That's I'm a fan. Y'all hate Tori. Tori. Y'all hate him. Y'all hate him. I didn't say it. Y'all understand him like I do. Now <laughs> you don't understand him like Clint. I do. Women will argue with their feelings so that they're always right. Because no matter what, your feelings are valid. Fellas, if you're tired of dealing with women like this, I'm going to give you a little... I'm going to give you a little... Uh, uh, get around that. If you recognize that you're engaging with a woman who will argue with her emotions, this is what you can say. Yes, your emotions are valid and they're completely correct. I will not invalidate, neither will I minimize your emotions. But I will not tolerate your behavior. Neither will I tolerate you minimizing my emotions, perceptions, or thoughts in order to make yours more valid. If your emotions are valid, mine are just as valid. 
Ladies, I'm going to tell y'all this one more time. One, if you are holding a man accountable to actions without identifying how it is that your emotional responses interrupted him delivering that action to you, you're minimizing how it is that your emotional responses are preventing that man from meeting that need. That's one. Two, if you emotionally overwhelm men with the intention of getting what it is that you want at the end of that emotional overwhelm, in other words, you feign being upset in order to get what you want, that's emotional manipulation. I don't right. give a damn what you say. Three, you can only hold a man accountable to something that has been communicated and agreed to. In other words, if you talked around your need first and talked directly at your need second, then that man has the ability to call you out on your inconsistencies and your inability to make a decision as a red flag that's apprehensive for him to deal with you as a woman. If you expect a man to put you before his purpose or his own needs of self-care, and then turn around and get upset when he attempts to assert boundaries with you. If a man is identifying a pattern of your behaviors and how it is that it's impacting his emotional stability and you deflect to you feeling some type of way because he called you out or in other words, when a man brings something to your attention and then all of a sudden the conversation becomes about your feelings. All right, we get that's it. mental gymnastics. <laughs> no, Chris picked this long ass clip. Yeah. I did. <laughs> react, Chris. React. No, it's a good <laughs> clip. But it's long. React. Um, I think he's still in this pocket. <laughs> you all right, brother? What's in that pocket? Bro, I'm good. <laughs> face off. Oh. <laughs> face apply. Here you go with this extreme. That's the same shit as we hate Tory, nigga. No, anyway. <laughs> React, bro. Um, he, What he said is definitely on point. Uh, I think a lot of the times women deflect a lot to avoid accountability. Um, your emotions are valid. And if I'm in a relationship with you, I always say I say this to y'all. If you with that woman, her her emotions are valid. I think it comes to like what's the what's the real goal of y'all being together? Why are y'all together? Are y'all together to enhance each other's lives? Because when it comes to women, their emotions are a priority to a degree. And to us, our logic is priority. I think it's a good uh compliment to each other because you impart logic on her, she takes something from you. She imparts her emotions on you, and you take something from that, because I feel like sometimes men are out of touch with their emotions. So I feel like there's two good things to take from, and I think understanding has to be at the forefront. Like, I can say, I understand I made you feel this way, but you have to understand that I did this for that. And she has to also be like, okay, I can put my emotions to the side and be like, I get why you did that. And I put myself in the way. Sometimes women throw themselves in the way. It wasn't, what I did wasn't even about you. You just got hit with some, like, shrapnel or something and now you uh oh you did this to me no i was actually doing some work and you just got in the way you know what i'm saying like i'm actually trying to get us here mm -hmm. but you got hurt by it to a degree so i think once we have that understanding of your emotions and why you're doing something i think stuff can get a lot more seamless that's why i, I kind of agree with you partially uh -huh. but i'm going to be a little bit more contrarian to the point where you said um all your emotions are valid i mm -hmm. do not agree Mm. I mean, I don't agree because, like bro said, what he described to me is like emotional warfare. And women tend to use their emotions strategically and sometimes to our detriment. Mm -hmm. um, they know that we are like trying to be more sensitive to their feelings. Like, because if you were, if you were a woman for, for a long enough time, like the feeling conversation is going to come up. So to be a good man, you have to, you know, kind of abide by that. Like, okay, well, I'm going to be a little bit more sensitive to her feelings. So they know that and they try to use it. To their, to their benefit in a lot of cases. And I think that's emotional warfare. So I don't think that just because all your emotions, your emotions shouldn't be valid or validated just because you feel that way. Like you just said, it could be something that had nothing to do with you and you mm -hmm. just made yourself feel that way. I had nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. That feeling's not valid. It's not. You feel that way because of you. That has nothing to do with me. That's not, I cannot validate your feelings. That's how you feel about yourself or feel about the situation that had nothing to do with you. Mm. I can't I can't validate that for you. You got to validate on your own. That's your feeling. You felt that way. You made yourself feel that way. That's not on me. You got to take some accountability and take some responsibility as an adult woman and just hey, deal with it on your own. That's not me. I don't have to, I'm I'm not I'm not here to deal with all your issues. That's not that's not what I'm here for as a partner. That's not what I'm here for at all. And mm. the, and there's a difference between emotional intelligence and just being emotional. Yeah, again. like there's there's two different like those are two different things, right? And I think that comes to your choice of women that you uh you choose to be with, like you gotta choose a woman that's emotionally intelligent, not one that's just emotional 100%. and thinks that everything is about her, and she should always come out of every situation benefiting and feeling good. That's 100%. not always gonna be the case, exactly. In order for us to get 
Like we all, we most of us go to the gym. We go to the gym. We're not in there. It's not always pleasant to get where we need to get. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's ugly faces. I'm sore. This shit hurts. I don't know why I'm doing this. Mm-hmm. And but it there's a there's a brighter picture on the other side of that. I think when a woman chooses a man, you also have to choose a man that you can trust is going to get you to that brighter side. So with that being um, said, you're going to look at his actions a little differently. Yeah. Now, I think once you get into that and she manipulating you with her emotions, right. mm-hmm. that's a woman that's not on your side. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just, just going to be yeah, straight up. That's a woman like, yo, I, there's a difference between me saying, yo, you made me feel this way and me purposely acting upset to get you to do what I want you to do. Now you're getting that man off his path and now you um, I'm a, I'm a are the, wondering I'm a shoot why. I'm going to shoot the women some bail, though. Everything they've been programmed to believe is that their feelings are so valid that it can kind of toss logic to the wind. No. Yeah. You know, okay, movies, wait, 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 TV, wait, wait. everything. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, you're right. No, 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 no. We've, we've Let's watched with, a conversation here. Well, if somebody's got to help produce the show, these niggas are talking I'm, on the same path. So, I'm trying to help you. So if, if we're, <laughs> we're being honest, though, we've seen on a million different platforms where if a woman flies off at the handle, she usually can still get her way. Dudes are like that. You're almost programmed to like, yo, let me pacify her emotions. Let me figure out what's going on with her. Let me figure out what I can do to fix it. Blah, 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 blah. And it, it, it fuck validation. It's going to take away from whatever you're trying to accomplish. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It gets you off your path. So you ended up exactly but, where but I was at. More but let me ask you. I was about to say, it's about yeah. to be go time, yeah. nigga. Let's go. Close the door. Let me ask. Let me ask y'all a question. I was like, yo, that's the slowest. Like, you guys. Like, I was like, yo, what the hell? Yeah, let me ask y'all a question. Is that the way the world works, or is no. it just a surface level look? Because to a degree, it is. Women can cry and get what they want. That's how the so world clearly, works. But okay, is it wait. ultimately are the we way? Stop, are we pause. updated with what's going on in wait a Saudi minute. Arabia? But, okay. Hi, emotional Arabia. woman here. Also high, emotionally intelligent woman. No, you mm. can't be both. Yes, the no, fuck I can. You can. No, you can't. Right. You can't. Can. Yes, be, I can. Right. Um, can. First no, of all, no, 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 no. emotions I can't, are I can't, chemical. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm here with you. Her I'm here Chris. with you. No. You can. Well, I didn't even get to my point yet. Jesus. Emotions are chemical. You started off horribly. Okay? Some people are chemically imbalanced. No. I might be one of them. Okay. Fuck it. Say that the next time a dude hits a you woman. Gotta, you got to at least no, say what no, no, she no. got to say. Yeah, you got to talk about what she got to say. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's, he's, but being ahead, angry is also let, a chemical. But y'all didn't even let her say let what she get has shit to off. say. Let her get her shit off. Oh, let her get her shit off. Now, thank you. God damn, Chris. Fuck. I'm not trying to be in here with y'all all day. Hurry up. <sighs> as an emotional woman, but also as an emotionally intelligent woman, I do not agree with psychological warfare. That's not okay. But at the same time, when I'm feeling a feeling, I'm emotionally intelligent. So I'm going to deal with it myself first because, as I said on a different episode, especially when you're dealing with a man who does a lot of things, you have your emotions in one hand and you have your expectations in another. <clears throat> if you expect him to do X, Y, and Z, a thousand things, take care of your life, you might have to take more handle in your emotions. So I will sit with my emotions, but when I do decide to bring them to you, I'm going to need you to tell me you understand. I'm going to need you to tell me that you can follow my train of thought and see how I got here. Oh, and then when you can't, if you cannot, that means we're having a misunderstanding, and that's what I can't do. I need to know that in our partnership, whatever is going on, we do not have to agree, but we should understand each other. So if you can't understand me, we got more talking to do, and we're going to do that. Agreed. Thank you. But <laughs> All I heard is if I say one plus one equals three today, then I want you then to you understand how I got to that. Answer. Right, and I don't, and I don't, I'm I don't not think that's fair. And that's fine because you should that's know me because I'm, I'm your partner. I'm not rolling. Yeah, one plus one is that. two every day. It don't matter right. how but you feel about it. And I can understand how you man, feel that though, way. Like, okay, so I feel like if if you, not even if I feel like, I feel like, like your feelings yeah. to be validated has to have some kind of basis to it. Like, if you can't explain it, that's what, yeah. if you can't explain how you're feeling, how do you then expect me to validate something that's unexplainable? That's how. No, that's the thing. I'm not We're trying lie. to explain it this to you. Just y'all are absorbing the information. As men who... This makes sense to me. This is how women fall in love with guys for potential. Right. This is exactly how it happens. Because they, they don't have to... It don't have to... It don't have to have no... I just feel he's going to be successful yeah. one day. <laughs> Maybe. I just feel it. He sold me the dream. <laughs> I, I don't see it. anything behind it. There's <laughs> no crazy. logic to it. I can no, explain it. Those things can be a bum for a decade. Can we just say this, though? And I'm going to go back to what I was saying to Lady Year before. Y'all are men, so one plus one equals three the days I feel like it? What? No, I just feel like y'all... Here you go. Like, y'all come across... Women Stop want it. understanding. Stop it. Understand me as a And human. I'm not even trying to, Make like, start understand. nothing. But it's yeah. coming across... I feel like yeah. as we progress, right? And we were talking about this last episode about uh, the testosterone and all of this and all mm-hmm. of that. I feel like men are feeling like they're 
equal to women in certain aspects, whether it comes to emotions or rights or different things like that, right? And I feel like men are getting upset because y'all are looked at or put on a certain pedestal where it's like, okay, you can't have these emotions. But nobody's telling that you can't have these emotions. And y'all are looking at it like, oh, well, women, y'all have the right to be able to put emotions before logic. That's not true. That's not true. Y'all are saying that. We're not. All I'm saying is this is how I feel and I want you to be able to understand how I feel without you telling me I'm in the wrong because that's literally what y'all are doing right now. Just hear me. Just that's hear it. it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how, like, no. I just want you to be able to say, okay, I may not understand how you come to that, but I could at least kind of see your train of thought. Cool. Right. And leave it at that. Okay. It doesn't have to be an argument. It doesn't have to be logic. But y'all are, like, arguing with us about our feelings and our emotions, okay. and you're not women. So what if <laughs> like, that that answers a, a part of your question too? Because what if I hear you and I hear a different thing than what you hear? Like what you're what you're saying, and, and I'm saying keep I hear talking, you, and I'm that hearing this. We keep talking. But what? Why? Why? Why stop there? Why are you making men stop there? Why? Why do I Bro, stop? They just told why me. Why no, 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 wait, 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 keep stop. talking. It's not necessarily you just say, "Okay, I hear you, I understand you," and then the conversation is over. But that's how we get past that. Like women are gonna lead with their emotions. No. I'm gonna leave. Okay. I'm gonna feel away. Whatever, whatever. Once you communicate to me that you understand how I got here, now I can hear you. And what kills well, no. me, y'all say y'all don't want to. Y'all don't want to be in a relationship with two men, right? I will calm down. So, so if fast. I was like, all right, cool, shit, I don't, I don't care. No, no, nobody's. That's it. I don't but care. But nobody's negating all emotions. No, some, some emotions. Yeah. Hearing, but that's what they're. And 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 just because, but just because it's an emotion, it <laughs> just because that's it's an saying. emotion doesn't mean it's a productive or a, a, a healthy emotion. Right. Say that like to man, me after you tell me you man, understand. We come but, to that conclusion no, no, together. No, like, to but that's what I'm saying. Just because. <laughs> just because lie, no, lie but, to her. Put the camera on, please. But how it's coming across is condescending. Like it's dismissive. It's condescending. Lie to her. <laughs> Tell her you understand, even if you don't. That's the only way to give it. Because some, okay, sometimes y'all talk in circles for forty minutes about nothing. Because y'all be acting like you don't know hear what I just said. Yeah. Because you're not you, making sense. Listen, yeah. I don't care. Just well, well, say okay. Well, well, so I'm like, like, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. No, no, she was just airing out somebody in the comments because he said exactly this. Yo, I'm listening say to her what? talk for mad long. She's not saying nothing, but you just want us to understand you. But that's not productive. Sometimes it's not productive. Sometimes it's a feeling based thing. Okay, we're listening. We're talking. Okay, she's okay. Sometimes the context of a relationship with their emotions. Sometimes, okay, so it's like she brings one thing to the table and he brings another. Cool. So you're going to get mad because she's not bringing to the table what you feel like. Can we say this? Go ahead. It's okay for a man to be out of touch with his emotions. I, not, not God damn it, Chris. Not, not, and it's but not, okay for, not, <laughs> let but me. not permanently, though. Okay. It's okay for you to push. Just about sometimes to I can't have my emotions on me all day. Right. If I do that, right. I'm not going to get nothing done. Fact. Period. It's not okay for... Let me tell you something, right? If we're in a relationship... And I'm not, you're not meeting an emotional need that I have, and we keep doing this over and over again, and you continue to not meet that need, we won't be together. So if you want to keep Some her, you have to woman. do the work to I understand her. Say, like, That's come on, period. You hear that? Come on now. If you want to keep her, you have to do the work Every to woman, understand no, 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 her. No, 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 it's just you finding a woman that you feel like is worth no. you going out your way to understand her emotionally. No. Yes. When it comes to this, when it comes to negotiate with no, 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 no. We don't pay ransom. We don't ransom. negotiate with, we don't don't ransom. with tears. We don't do none of that. You don't do X, Y, Z doing that. No, I have a need. Feel it. You want me to suck your dick? That's a need you have. And if I don't suck your dick, you're going to find someone else to do it. Where are you going to leave me? I want you to just say you hear me. Can you do that? Like I just said, bro. What's so funny? What's so funny? What's so funny? Is, to her. What's so funny is <laughs> that y'all are talking about this emotion thing, and a lot of women like have a basis about that of oh, emotion, emotion. Y'all don't understand our emotion. Some men can't even be emotional without even criticized, without being criticized, mm -hmm. without being called sus. Mm -hmm. If a man, if yeah. a man, if a man displays his emotion on the most, and maybe not y'all, y'all, maybe y'all are elevated. In, in. I'm not talking about y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about don't 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 fight me. I'm talking about a lot of women that we mm -hmm. see. Y'all know y'all know some of them. Y'all are friends with some of them. Mm -hmm. Y'all will see a man being emotional. Y'all will call him sus. But y'all want y'all want y'all. He's soft. He's soft. He's a he's bitch. But that goes into the type of woman wait, you're picking. Wait 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 wait. wait, wait. I let you have the floor. Okay yeah you're right. Thank mm -hmm. you. Zayna did come here to take the A mic. Right, she did. What's up? Yeah. I, I don't know why she pulled up on us like that. Um, I'm saying, like, rule lot, number lot, seven: <laughs> guests are treated as A mic. Yeah, but it's okay. her second time, yeah. so the guest thing so is thrown out. So I'm not a guest anyway, no more. Kinda. Can I finish what I'm saying? That's crazy. Yes, brother. Ellis. Also, Thank can I add to what you go what you going to? Go I just want to throw some in because when men get emotional, we also show emotion different, and it also might come out as aggressive. Mm -hmm. Then we get labeled 
Oh, you over, that's what you overly leading. aggressive. You're doing this. You're doing that. They don't think those chemicals are in the same pool. Right. That's what they They don't think those are the same emotional chemicals. So then, when then we 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 act all emotionally, then that's not that's not validated. Oh, you're desperate. You're angry. Oh, he's he's abusive. You get you get labeled things when when a man shows emotion. Those those emotions are never validated. But when y'all feel something without any basis, we're supposed to just understand. Oh, yes, honey. Supposed to clock in. I understand. Honest, I hear you. She don't understand why I hit that. I say, but I, to you. If my man flies off the handle, I'm gonna want to fly the fuck down, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, "What's <laughs> going on? Like, why?" That's when I start to speak that's good, understanding. Lydia. If no, that's you're good. flying off the handle, yeah. I want to know why. Yeah. Like, that's good. Literally, I'm trying of, to understand you, Lydia. And I'm so, a lot of women don't do that, man. That's why. That's yeah. why I wasn't talking about y'all. Too. That's you should what ask I'm why. It goes into the woman that you choose for your life. Not what about the man that you choose that doesn't understand can we, the man? Can they want you to be like the most manly bro. Yeah, shoot shit up, dude. But then also <laughs> sit in your side with him and be like, yes. "How are you feeling today? How are you feeling? <laughs> what else is going that on? Sounds okay. Okay. Is that that sounds yes, okay. please. Okay. Oh, is right. everything okay? Some hot biscuits, tea, and yes. let me cry. On your I don't shoulder. like a biscuit. Please, actually, let me uh, cry on your <laughs> shoulder <laughs> so I can show you actually, that I'm in touch with my right. emotions. Listen to Shaka Khan. Listen to Shaka Khan. Yes, Alan Baker. Yeah, no. That's not uh, how that works. I think I think emotions are important. And I can They're, I think emotions <laughs> are what get us here. I think they both touch each other too. I think logic both. and emotions both. touch each other. It's not a pause. I think logic Nobody and emotion, pause, they both feed both. off each other. Because when you first meet somebody, you're driven off emotion. She looks a certain way. She you lust. You feel in lust for that person. But then logic comes into play. What do you do for a living? How is your uh, upbringing? All of it mm-hmm. feeds mm-hmm. off of each other to a degree. At some point, but I, logic comes into play. Right. And I, But I also think that logic should be at the forefront. It should always be at the forefront. We should mm-hmm. always lead with the emotion because we have to provide security, correct? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. if I'm too busy in my emotions, I can't provide you the security that you need. I have to be logical. I have to make sure we're staying on it the path. I gotta like make sure I'm looking Chris, The things around. that we need to bring are tangible. You can hold no. them, you can touch them, and the mm-hmm. things that women bring are, I don't know what the, intangible? <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I'm just saying because no, uh, eventually. Well, if I want to do, do like about women, but emotion. No, like, but, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, you, did you hear that sign language coming out? No, no, no. That that sign, that sign, that sign, that sign language, language coming, coming out. Right. But, but Elliot, one thing they don't why understand. Why do we not like women now? One, that's what that's, no, because, that's their go-to. One thing. Uh, no, that's not the go-to. But it's just like name. It's like seen the internet. It's emotional response. It's clear sign language. It's go shame, mm-hmm. insult, guilt, or need to be right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And when the conversation switched to, all right, they're not understanding what, they, now y'all don't like women. But So my question like is, women. okay, so what do y'all want now us to say? Getting. Okay, I understand what you're saying. <laughs> no. I apologize. What can we do yeah. as a community School? of women to fix it? One you're thing, right. Well, no, one thing y'all got to <laughs> understand. <laughs> no, you're right. I'm don't be sassy I'm on here. You're right. No, I'm not being sassy. I'm not being sassy. I'm just saying, you're right. I'm wrong. I apologize. What can I do to fix it, sweetheart? Oh, oh, that's a sweetheart. See, I, I'm oh, just oh saying God. because you want it. Like, oh, oh, why is she shooting at you, fool? No. She came at you because you got on a so sweater. It, but that's my thing. I feel like with sweaters. men, y'all are so used to being in the wrong, in the wrong, um, then it's like when a woman is trying to fix it, it's like, mm-hmm. like, what do you want me to do to fix it? What do you want me to do? Damn. Sorry. I apologize. Like y'all asking for? I apologize. Like y'all are asking for? Can I take off your shoes and rub no. your feet? No, See, look at this. You said no, right? I just understand. Like y'all asking for? All right. Yo, one thing one thing that women gotta understand is the the <laughs> fact the, the the want for a man to be logical and to actually preside over his relationship pragmatically is an emotional uh, is a result of an emotion. Like it's driven by emotion. The fact that I love you and I care about you, those are emotions, but it causes me as an end result to want to be logical so we can be safe and successful. Is <laughs> it, it Okay, right, this, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. That's what we but just said. That's, that's uh, an emotional response. That's emotional intelligence. I love this woman. Now I want to care for this woman. How can I care for her? I can't mm-hmm. care for her. Tending to my per- emotional needs is part of caring. No, that shit no, ain't gonna no, put the roof over sh- the heads of us, man. You, I want you, you to do a little Girl, bit of both. Thank you. Don't say too much unless you're gonna take your shoes off and rub his feet. And you know what? I will if you fucking listen to me. How about that? <laughs> Let's really talk about it. Wait a minute. <laughs> don't wait a minute. Let Let's me get really my have feelings. A conversation about yeah. it. And you will get the slap feeling you've ever had. Let's really have it. a conversation yeah. about it. Come I doubt on it. Come now. Yeah. Yeah. I doubt Lady, it. Lady, you got to stop. I hear That's you. We're not saying that that ain't you. Yeah. But We're talking about general. You got to talk to your sisters out here. Right. Y'all, again, okay. y'all might be outliers. Maybe. maybe. I mean, I men know. lead, so you'd have to lead by uh, trying to understand her feelings to see no, if she'll what? give you the you know sloppiest that's why, that's Forget why everything we say about being the best version of you. Just go listen to their feelings and you'll get everything you want from them until no. they realize they want stuff from you. 
Right. The fuck? <laughs> Until they realize, like, oh, yeah, he loves me and he listens to me, but that's not paying the light bill because I'm doing that. Then she's off to the next dude that's paying the light bill. Don't listen to these two. They're, they're Sorry. It's a Sorry. trick. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Are you saying you yeah. can't be in touch with <laughs> the fuck? And pay the bill? I want you to know. No, you can be, but, but they're saying leave. It got to be a 70 30. Yeah. It got to be a 70 30. 80 20. It might be 85 15. I don't know what Chris talking about. I'm not talking about half the Half the stuff they feel is irrational. No, it don't no, even make sense. I wasn't saying. I wasn't it don't saying, even make sense, bro. I, well, let me make it make sense. <laughs> Go ahead. I wasn't saying lead in the relationship with, you know, always tending to my emotions. Because that would counteract what I said five minutes ago about your emotions versus your expectations as a woman. Bro. What I'm saying is if you want to see what will happen... If you want to see the arguments lessen, if you're beefing in your household, but, maybe you should switch it up just a little bit and you, be the bigger it, no, person Lydia, for a second and be like, let me Lydia, hear you but you also for a said, couple Lydia, a minutes, minutes ago? to see if you'll calm the fuck down. Mm. Also, Lydia, you said a few minutes ago, if I don't tend to your emotional needs, then we're not going to be together. I said... You, you said no. that. Rwanda Taylor. No, 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 my emotional needs. Can I say, needs. So, can I say something said. to the fellas? Yes, it is. Okay. Run it back. And, and <laughs> fellas, yo, fellas, get you, get you a woman whose main emotions have to do with her own peace and also her just being happy to mm -hmm. be with you. If she bringing all this extra stuff in with her emotional responses and all this other stuff, she's kind of productive, bro. Get you a woman that's happy to be with you, that, that understands you, that's, that's just excited, happy, and in love to be there. And then you won't have to deal with all this outside stuff, how it's, it's the temperature's too cold today. I feel I feel a way about that. I feel a way about how you looked at me. I feel a way about this. Yeah. Get you a woman that's yeah. actually, yeah. like, those are the right. predominant emotions. Right. Then you can validate you know those emotions. You know how many dumb arguments I've had about every... feelings, about stuff that nobody actually did? Right. It was all up in her head, and I had to listen to that shit. And honestly speaking, going back to but what you she did. But you did it, and you met the back, emotional right. need. Going, going Bro, back, and you no, no, listen. No, what Kadeem is saying. They don't get that, because that that argument has nothing to do with me. So when it's something that she she feel like, oh, she, I just let her talk. No, just talk, well, talk, talk, talk. But, but, but when, it's, when, it, when she bringing that shit to you, and you be like, bro, I didn't even do nothing. I'm in the right. house playing the fucking game. Right. Why are we arguing? Go on, go on, don't pay ransom, bro. Going back, we don't negotiate said, with terrorists. Going back to what she said, she said <laughs> expectations and emotions. That's what you said, correct? Yes. Honestly speaking, expectations can lead to you being emotional. Like you're expecting something, mm -hmm. how, however you created it in your head. If it doesn't Facts. go that way, mm -hmm. that creates an emotional response. Mm -hmm. Facts. So you should probably not have the, those two balances being expectations and emotions. They're not even supposed to be on the scale. They're not even supposed to be on the scale together. I'm talking about what women want. They want some women want a man. That's more emotional. He gonna rub your feet. He gonna come home okay, and we'll say, "Oh, babe, what's no, the tea for you?" No, get that man. No, bro, no, they no, don't no. want that guy I'm for not, real. I'm they not, want him into. I'm a not point. done. I'm not true. I'm not done. What? What I'm saying is, those are the two things that women try to find a balance of, of, you know, whatever man is right for them. The one that's gonna tend to their emotions, whatever percentage, versus the one that's gonna tend to their expectations, whatever percentage. If you're a woman that wants the man that's, you know, he he's working so hard and he's upholding the household and getting you whatever the fuck you want and y'all living a lavish lifestyle. I hate that word. He's working. He don't have time to worry about your emotions all the damn time. So you're going to have to take more of that weight. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But if you want the man that's ready to sit with Bro, you for three hours and eat too. cookies and watch One Life to Live and goddamn talk about the tea that that's happened at work cap. today and what Sasha that's said cap. and who's cheating on who, he got too much time. He's but not at work. A, you're probably working too. That's cap. I feel Hard. like we're mixing two different things because it's the difference between we were supposed to be a, talking about an emotional man, just in general, who wants to hear that thing about you know Sasha and is that, and a man who makes you feel some type of way, and you trying to tell him why he made you feel a certain way, and him just at least hearing what you have to say. Yeah. I feel like we're mixing those two conversations, and I feel like there's two different arguments. Can I, can I, I feel like this? the man that has the Please emotion, the mental up, Chris, space to, to do that. All I'm trying to um, say is that a lot of the things that our men, men are going through is that they're seeing that maybe the like on Instagram or the little thing I did this morning is getting more emotion than him actually coming home, providing this, showing consistency, okay. actually showing up and being consistent in his relationship. Those don't get yeah. the, the over flare of emotions that the like on Instagram does. Nope. Y'all are talking about the like on Instagram for 24 hours, but Facts. if the man comes home, cooks for dinner, and way. he's actually had all the bills paid, he Jesus. loves you, he still mm. cuddles with you, watches mm. the show, he's showing consistency, mm. yeah. those don't get the over flare of emotions. Like mm. It's like we lean 
overly extreme into the negative for the the, the other stuff, but then the stuff that he's supposed to do, it, it's like you break even. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get a, a positive a flare of emotion. And it's mm -hmm. like, what what happened to your emotional uh, base then? Mm -hmm. What happened to that? You're not that emotional. Most You're very time, logical when it comes to now. When, most when of the time, to, the emotions it, are to control what that guy right. is doing. When it comes right. to, right. he's doing the things he's supposed that to be doing, and he's actually showing consistency, too. being loyal. But being you don't honest. even know that's yeah. that but type that, of right. woman until you start to the, the, like the picture. You probably got already past that. Now you're liking the picture, and it's a different. Uh, it, it changes. Y'all emotions change with y'all feelings. What are you talking about? It's gonna. It's not gonna be like, oh, I met her and she's gonna stay like this. Nobody stays the same. If I'm with somebody and they like this and they stay that way the whole time we're together, I got a problem. We should both be going. But if you're evolving, I don't feel. Evolving is one thing, but I'm starting to hate that word. Another. Why? So, I'm just, I'm just starting. To, I'm, I'm being drilled with evolution anyway, and men should evolve this all day. Please ahead, don't bro. anybody else say anything about this. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> okay. We have a listener question that I need to get to. We're already 40 minutes in talking we with are? you guys. Really? Yes. Wow. I don't feel like it. It really don't. <laughs> I don't feel like it. Really? My 40 minutes. <laughs> hey, I, I, <laughs> no, I know it doesn't uh, feel like it. Good, good <laughs> conversation, but. You know, yeah, I don't feel like it was 40 minutes, bro. It's been 40 minutes. <laughs> that was a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all crazy. It'd be eight minutes. You'd be like, damn, nigga, I was going crazy in there. <laughs> Hell yeah. You look up. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be 35, nigga. Gotta be 45 minutes. Hell nigga. Nah, Gotta be 90 minutes, minute, boy. <laughs> bro, you ain't even in yet. The commercial break. <laughs> this her thigh, bro. <laughs> nah, that's her thigh. <laughs> Y'all are funny. All right, we'll go back to the Valentine's Day stuff. I'm trying to, yo. Y'all ever fucked a thigh? Huh? Have y'all ever fucked a thigh? No. Like, <laughs> y'all made, made a mistake like nah. that? Huh? I, I hear people saying that like, oh, yo, yo, I didn't even know I was in. Like, nah. how, bro? How nah. did you Because you're using that little tiny thigh gap, yeah. which might be tight as well. Thigh gap. And, and why is it moist then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. why, why, why you got a tight, moist thigh? Nah, because I just been eating that box. That's why. Because of whatever else. I'm trying to rip off. I just been spending spend on, spend on that cat. I, I, I was going to say, way. maybe you spit on the room plate. Yeah, yeah, boy. Or just because of whatever you was doing salad, before. Bro. Maybe the juices were flowing. <laughs> yeah, it was flowing. The juices were flowing. The thigh gap was there. You thought you was in, and you wasn't. Time out. We got a listener question. It's about bitter baby daddy. People be listening to us. Anyway, love that. I am currently in a situation where I just recently broke up with my baby's father. My question is, what makes a man become bitter towards his baby mom? Is it because they still have feelings? Is it because uh, you see she's moving on with life? Like I hate reading y'all stuff. I need punctuation. <laughs> From now on, please, a little punctuation for me. I went to school with the whites. And I read. I don't like, like that. that. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like well, that. they bust me to. You know, I went to Crestwood, so they bust us over there to oh. mix and mingle. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when I say I went to school with the whites, it was on purpose. With the blacks. Mm -hmm. They took the blacks and they made us go over there. So I, and I was in honors English, so I need punctuation. There's not a Selma. There's not a period in here, bro. Oh, you need a woman to read it. I bet no. you can read it flawlessly. No, I, I read it. You did? Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, Emotion I and all. Right. I, I read Emotion it. Don't read it like, don't read like you're reading a paragraph. Read it like you're hearing somebody talk. Okay. I'm it, trying, it, but it, I don't even remember where I was at because there's no period. Trust me. All right. I'm currently in a situation where I just recently broke up with my baby's father. My question is, what makes a man become bitter towards his Life. baby mom? Is it because they still have feelings? I need punctuation. <laughs> is it because I like it's coming. you see she's moving on with life? Like, I just don't understand it, nor do I get it. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> Like, really I just like don't understand. Like, like, I just don't the get question. it. You want me to read it? Hold on. And he also just recently <laughs> tried to go down to the courthouse to get full custody of our son. Dummy. But one, he's not on the birth certificate. And two, mm. wow. Sheesh. Like a dummy, I guess, trying to be spiteful, went and filed child support on himself. Like idiot. Huh? I know I was laughing as well. How was that spiteful? You the, people at the, the people at yes. the courthouse were having a ball. <laughs> I just... It's just one of those situations of like, how do I deal with this type of person moving forward? I can't wait to get the oh, answer. Baby. Looking forward to episode 131. Oh, you're stuck. Right. I already tell you. Yeah. Right. Mm. <sighs> you stuck with him for at least however many years. Until I hate baby. when people yeah. say 18 and years. Y'all are more. stuck together forever. Y'all have Four a kid. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. just 18. Yeah. Yeah. I said yeah. at least. Financially yes. responsible man. <laughs> right, right. How about that? React. You know, Has um, anybody in here ever been a bit bitter baby daddy? I have. No. I have not. You say you have? <laughs> you don't have no kids, Elliot. Shut up. Right. No, but you I got one. You don't know me like that. Lydia, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you said you, 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 you have a bitter baby dad? Yeah. Okay, How's go ahead. He been? 
Well, I think he's mellowed out a little bit since then. He still like to fly off the handle and have temper tantrums and call me all kinds of names. But you don't validate his emotions. About, I was about to say, God damn it. No, they can't. They can't look exactly. He's flying off the handle, he's but those are his emotions. You don't validate his emotions. <laughs> do, you listen, do you listen to understand him? Are you, are you trying to understand where he's coming from? They don't care. Bro. <laughs> Don't come in here with a holster without a gun. Facts. <laughs> but yeah, continue. Just came full circle. Go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. What's your, your non-listening emotional self? Wait, 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 wait. wait. You ain't even crazy. trying to understand that, man. Ahead, I just want y'all to understand <laughs> there's context oh, oh, oh. you do not What's understand. What's 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 Go ahead with your logic and your please, context. Go ahead. Please. So, so we can the understand. question was, <laughs> why are they bitter and what to do about it? <laughs> right? Sure. Mm-hmm. How do you handle a bitter baby dad? Go ahead. I got you. And what makes a man a bitter baby? I think or you he's do. bitter either, you know, because he wants you or because he's just upset that whatever plan he had, it did not go accordingly. Men don't like that. Men are planners. They want to, you know, project life how they want to project it when it don't go that way some of them will lose their fucking mind so expectations yeah okay mm-hmm. true mm-hmm. but they want no, me she, to manage she, she the right. expectations no, I'm, that I'm, didn't I'm happen and your wild mm-hmm. ass emotions and like i said before we're not doing both like that mm-hmm. okay and then what to do about it that's valid <sighs> learn to use the block button but only for like an hour you block him for an hour so he can talk to his mother for that boy in time out. but you <laughs> keep the communications <laughs> open so after he calms the fuck down then he can come to you with something reasonable. Don't answer his text message unless it has something to do directly with your baby, in a very logical sense. Not, oh, he feels da 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 da. No. What time are you coming to get him? What time do I need to pick him up? Uh, are we dropping him off at so and so's house? Does he need diapers? Does he need this? Da 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 da. If it doesn't have anything to do with your child, and it has something to do with his emotions, y'all not together. You're not responsible for those. Mm. Heard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he can he can talk to himself. Yeah. You gotta wean him slowly off the titty. No, off the, off the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, cold turkey what? on the off titty. The cold what? turkey the on cat. the titty. What would create a bitter baby daddy? Um, what well, Lydia said when you make a plan and it doesn't go down the way you need to go, mm-hmm. you need it to go down. But that that's a lot of ego involved. A lot of people just gotta yeah. understand life ain't gonna go down the way you always. You plan it to go down. A plan is just your plan A is really a plan B. We just gonna do a spoiler alert right now. Mm-hmm. You think your plan A is plan A is not. It's plan B, bro. It's whatever is to, whatever to deal with the inevitabilities of life as far as the ups and downs. Stuff's going to happen, and then you resort or you can fall back on your plan A. But I think what Lydia said is it was real. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, just when you see stuff doesn't go your way, you just got to connect the relationship from there. A lot of people don't know how to connect the relationship from the business aspect. The relationship is he over. He was a baby daddy for a mm-hmm. short stint. Yeah. Yeah. No, he I was. Co-parented, he was a baby daddy. co-parented for like three years. You weren't bitter, yeah. though. No. Nah. Because you Chris, nah, I, I, he Chris Fathist. I dived in cat this cold. <laughs> He's Chris yeah, Fathist. <laughs> well, nothing to be bitter about. Well, I thought it was a year. <laughs> he was did outside. You, did you ever have to operate how I said before? Like, we're not talking about feelings right now. Like, what is nah, the logistics it, of this situation? I got all my feelings out the way on the exit. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. once, once you told me a certain thing and I understood it was it was over, out. It was black and white from there. Yeah. yeah. Um it has to be. I went through I went through my stint of depression for about a year, but it wasn't like a bitterness. It was like, yo, I gotta get my stuff together. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like, oh, I'm reaching out to you and I'm lashing out at you and all that stuff. Yeah. It's like, damn, like I gotta really they don't reevaluate know how my life. Emotions, bro. That's yeah, so we, I, I wouldn't even the called you bitter then. You I, you don't meet nah, the criteria. Yeah, I were calling, he's Chris Fatherson. He wasn't bitter. No, nah, no, nah, <laughs> right. it, it was a sadness. So no, I wasn't. I mean, I wasn't bitter. You, you, you had a had box outside the window. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Right. No, but I don't. Hold up, don't do that. No, nah, like I did my. I made sure I put forth my effort to make sure the end didn't happen. Mm-hmm. But the end happened, and then I was yeah. like, okay, now we got to figure out what we need to do. Hence I think it's just put in. It's just yeah. the relationship is over, dog. It's over. Mm-hmm. And I think even even if you want that woman back, you're not gonna get her back by begging and chasing. Facts. You're not. By acting a Women, fucking fool. That's why that say, music that you were trying to make me play before the pod is moot. Okay. All them dudes, Wait a minute. bro. Wait I'm telling all them dudes that did all that standing in the rain. That girl didn't do nothing but that girl Baker. ain't do nothing but pillow talk with the next dude about how you were standing That's in the rain, true. bro. It's That's a fact. True. 
That might be a little true. true. Yeah, it um, might be a little true. It's a big <laughs> fact. Anytime you've done some it's sappy not, shit for a girl, they, they and y'all didn't get back together, definitely she fact. told the next three dudes about how sappy she had you, you know looking, what? bro. Dame, I'm going I'm to I'm challenge you a little bit. Go ahead, bro. I think we've been going through an exchange over, mm-hmm. over the time period. Back then when them dudes was doing that, the women were different. Now the now women are looking to oust mm. you. Thank you. Now they looking to talk crap. I think back Thank then there you. were. I'm so, not saying. So you there think they got back with a no, girl? No, no, no. I'm not saying hold there on, wasn't. Let me, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not saying there weren't women like that, but there the majority of women were. We like, grew oh up my in that God, era. How many times does any this? of that stuff work for you? I never done any of that stuff. Okay, you. I didn't know. I've done the sappy shit. I've been sad and did the sappy like what, oh what? try. I've done sappy. All right, well, no, all right but, what do you mean sappy though? I've I've done, done, anything, like, anything that you was like, I'm gonna do this to try to get her back. I don't know oh, what. Okay. We're not standing in the rain, yeah, no. but any we've oh, all done yeah, no, any I'm kind of it, little it. See, I can okay, say right, one thing. I, I pulled up to a fashion show with with a with a bouquet of flowers and everything. So that that can count as a uh, thoughtful. It it worked in the in the uh, grand scheme. <laughs> I pulled up to uh, uh, a a probate. Later. The Delta said just crawl. No, I did. You, I pulled, yo, you was in the mask. Hey, respect. No, no, no. No, oh, respect. I'm gonna say, no, say you. No, I'm just saying. I pulled, pulled, I pulled up to a probate. You no, know that's I, war. war. No, all her line sisters gonna it be looking. There you go. No, there you go. Little stupid ass. No, right no there. I didn't do it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying though. But as a matter of fact, it was raining. I had to walk to the car. It was raining. No line on the pod. I mean, I had to remember. I'm telling y'all because I was standing. Out there. But I know you. I know you listen to some sad music on the way. No, I listen to this shit. I be telling y'all. I be listening yeah. to it. I'm not Lane. trying to play y'all. And Tory Lanez was an outback. That counts as sad music. He's sad No, bro. The probate was outside like they normally right. are. I was like, you know, there's normally a party afterwards. She's like, I don't want you here. Uh, <laughs> I'm here. I drove all the way up. Hit, she was there to throw ass, bro. Nigga. Not, not, and not told to me to get in the car sad. and carry your ass. Yeah, bye. And that's yeah. what happened. Uh, scoop, scoop. Wow. I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> that shit don't work, bro. Scoop, scoop, my None guy. of it. I'm going to tell and you. And I guarantee whatever Q clapped them cheeks last night, she's like, you know, the sappy nigga was outside in the rain. Why he had to be a Q? She's um, a Delta. I'm gonna tell you, or football a, player. Come on, man. Let's a Kappa. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you, bro. You got tell, affinity for Kappa. I'm gonna tell men, yo. Once you get your, once you get your like messages out the way to these women, the best way for women to learn is in silence, bro. Leave her alone. Period. Yep. But this is yeah. about the baby daddy. He's not even on the birth certificate, which is crazy. That's which is dumb. His, fa- his That's his fault. What? Well, she makes the choice. Well, it's not well, really his fault. Well, he, he might he be there? mad at her. He might be mad at himself too. I think ultimately men gotta face that too. Yeah, he probably. You're not really mad, mad at her, bro. You mad? No, at he's probably mad at her too. Bitter, you can be bitter by your, uh, at yourself. Yeah, sure. you mad at yourself. You ain't put yourself on the birth certificate and all that. Mm-hmm. You go, go in to put your father. He and then probably didn't think it was his. Mm. Mm. What? But then that contra- but then that contradicts why are you doing that and then yeah. putting yourself on birth. It's different situations. Different situations for different different. Different strokes. Men. I, I think, was gonna say well, because he probably didn't think it was his. Yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna get into though. it. You want to get into it? <laughs> Sorry, too late. Go ahead. Uh, well, um, I mean, I just kind of got out of a situation where I was, um, I could have been in a situation like that. But um, yeah, uh, you know, girl tried to play me, and you know, basically said I was the baby father, and I was like, I need some proof. Mm-hmm. Prove it to me. She couldn't prove it. Mm-hmm. So, and then she was being bitter, and then tried to. You know, get my chain command involved and all that. Oh, yeah. Child and try to put me on child support, all that shit. So, and what ended up happening? The baby wasn't mine. Yeah. So mm-hmm. she wound up looking goofy in the end. Uh-oh. So, Hit the applause for that. Yeah. yeah we got- we don't like those guys. Oh, are, y'all, are y'all fans of um, people getting a, a DNA test like as soon as yes. they come out? Hell yeah. yeah. Yes. Hell even yeah. even if y'all are in, in the best relationship. Yeah. Yes. Hell yes. 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 One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yes. Even if y'all are, like I said, y'all are in a she great place. She a scammer, place. bro. <laughs> even if even if y'all are in a great place, there's nothing wrong with finding out that your child shouldn't is one hundred percent. It shouldn't. Be, you have. You should have. No I problem. had no doubts, shouldn't and Caitlin no was problem. like, she was shouldn't like, no, no I want you to get. I mean, right. I didn't get one, but she was like, I'll get it right should. now. Right. You should. Cause be no problem. Like I know right. you don't. I know you don't think there's no any possible way that she's not your, no, not dude, your daughter. Yeah. I know that. I know that for sure. But even just like, all right, I know for yeah, sure. just to put it on paper. Fact, to know on paper. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know for a fact that's my kid. Cause that should yeah. come back. You point zero 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 two. You like? I thought, no! she, I thought she had my nose. <laughs> 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 I just, no. She just like my mom. No, you've been kissing that. another nigga's seed. That's five. crazy. <laughs> so yeah, to avoid that, Ooh. yes, I don't care how great your relationship is. That well, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Big so, pause. Yeah, to avoid that, yeah, just go ahead and test. Yeah, get tested, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell her to do about. Should, bro. Um, wrong with that. I think uh, Lydia I hit it on the head. Uh, I think you don't. 
I was gonna drop a quote. You're no not together. Drop a quote. No. Yeah. Give my man book. Yeah, drop a quote. Go ahead, Chris. Go, go ahead, ahead, bro. I was about to say you can't change the person you love. You just change the way you love them. Period. Mm. You, if you stuck with this person forever, like you have. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't change that person, you got to learn how That's to uh, coexist with them. <laughs> period. And do not answer any text <laughs> message related to this nigga's feelings because you're not responsible for those. He could type you 50 paragraphs, and at the end of it, it say something about picking up at 5 o'clock. You say, okay, I'll be there. Purred. Don't answer none of that other shit. Yeah. And, and fellas, stop being bitter, man. There's another woman right around the corner. Bro, I don't I like how we're not validating their emotions, but I'm going to roll with y'all. When no, we can, we can validate it because a lot of dudes are going you're together. A lot of dudes are going through it, bro. I'm starting to realize a lot of dudes are going through it with women, and they, they feel like there's no way to go. Trust me, as a person that's been there, mm-hmm. bro, it's, it's not that deep, bro. When, uh, it's the world. Is the, the world. No, no, no. Oh, we're not bro. even going to no, We're not even going to do that. We have we're to. We're not going to do that because no, that's, that, that's the whole life. problem with the premise of their thought process because they think that a woman is it. That's not it. I agree with that. That's but it's the not, whole, that's But the what happens is it's, it is harder for guys to get girls out here, bro. No, but that's the problem. That's yeah. not all this world has to offer. I'm sorry. Women are great. Y'all are beautiful. But y'all ain't, uh, y'all ain't it. I that agree, ain't it. Chris. Chris. What's the other option? I don't know. Fuck what you talking about. <laughs> no, I don't think it's about just saying most of our men are in prison or on hanging from a cord because of a woman. He's saying well, that right there's, there's more out of life no, to get fulfillment facts. than because women. That is true. Yes. A lot of dudes aren't getting sex, so they feel like their worth is connected to their ability to go get sex. A lot of dudes are have killed each other over some vagina. They won't even loyal. They won't even loyal. We're Where's not going to talk go about the lack of oh, male role models. That's that, but that's agreed. Both can be true. I'm just saying that men have to. I'm not saying women aren't great. Y'all are y'all are our gift. But there's other things to live for, fellas. Yeah. Hey, Chris. No, just, he's just to like kind of like validate your feelings. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Appreciate you. Love we do that, that here. Love that. Um, I'm not naming it. There's a stat. It's, it's, <laughs> it's called, it should be called val- Valentine's Day validation. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> 58.3% of men have not had sex from for a year to four years. Right now, <laughs> currently today. Women don't what? believe that. that and that's the that, truth. That validates his statement. It's what? the truth. Not every, and, and his too. Not, not all guys are out here getting women. They're not. And they're not having Most, sex. They're, it's an overwhelming majority yeah. or not. You're right. So yeah. they, they have to begin some fulfillment somewhere else. This other thing. Women don't realize thing. that 80% 50. of the women only mess with 20% of the men. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The numbers yeah. Are, you know? So that means there's 80% of dudes so they, that aren't doing anything out here. Are they ugly and broke? Because she you got to pick a struggle. Ugly you can broke. be ugly or broke. You can't so, be both. And women can be fat and ugly. and ugly man over But if a guy thinks she's ugly and broke. That's y'all's fault because y'all <laughs> still give the dick. That's y'all's nah. fault. What what Chris like to say? No. Be selective with who you put your seed into. Whatever the fuck Chris be saying. Y'all will fuck any damn thing, and that's not my fault. Yo, <laughs> y'all will fuck any. I think y'all need to pay <laughs> dudes. Dudes, pay it pay close attention to what they think of y'all. Handsome. So if you are not good looking and you don't make no money, you are not visible. Just pay attention to that. I'm not trying to invalidate y'all's feelings with that, but I'm trying to say men take notes mm-hmm. on what they they list out as what makes you visible to them. And the very average woman will shit on you, bro. Even if y'all are both on a the same plane. Yes. I didn't hear anything. You lies. could be a six, she could be a five, and she is going to shit on you, bro. Uh, 100%. Because she fucked that one nine that one time. I promise you. Not the yeah, one you gotta. Nine, you, the one she did. <laughs> <laughs> one time in the club, he was like, it's dark. I don't even <laughs> tell nobody. It's two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> and then she, the she, she swear. He let you ride. Oh! Ooh. Uh, is he gonna die? No, no, she did that. Why you gotta it. point no, I'm me out like that? Like, like, why? why? You just point she, your finger no, at me. She did that. I actually brought right She did that. Like, why? Yeah, she did, right she she did, did that. that. It was her left foot. It was her left foot. No, What's she, your validation? Her like, did you, we how saw do you, you feel? You I'm almost sorry. killed Adam's boy. Okay. It was all about my emotions. It's okay. I apologize. What can I do to make it better? And they're valid. No, it's, it's can fine. I make it better, though? almost killed Astro Boy. I just want to make it better for them. That's a collective. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But let's finish with the listener question. I don't know if we answered her question for real, other than. Like Lydia said, how to deal with, bro. I don't know what makes a guy a bitter baby daddy. I wouldn't be bitter if it didn't work. Like Chris said, it didn't work. But I'm a different kind of guy. I'm not ugly or broke. So when I get outside, it's outside. Right. It's up. And you know how can, to pivot. Can, like if your plan A don't work, you know how to change it up. You're still going to get to where you want to go. There's other men that aren't like that. They don't I, think yeah. that way. Can I uh, go like, at oh, uh, what Lydia plan. said? Because Lydia said that her, his emotions aren't her responsibility anymore. And I think that's kind of untrue. 
I think when you have a kid with somebody, there you go. those feelings kind of are valid still. So they I would think be valid if it was. They the can other be way valid right. over there. And I think. Yeah, no, no. They would I'm, be trying, valid. I'm trying to give her some advice. I'm they would be valid advice. the other way around. If that's she not, was bitter and she had feelings, they right. would be super valid then. I'm trying to find her some advice for from us. Mm-hmm. I think what you should do is to sit down and have a real talk with this man, period. Mm-hmm. And establish, establish that the relationship is over, but try to establish a new relationship of how you guys are going to coordinate. The romantic relationship is over, but y'all's relationship is still there because, like we say, you have a kid, you with the person forever. Sit down and come to terms with what, how are y'all going to coexist here on out. And we How don't even know. They could still, that's we, they could still be smashing. That we don't know the intricacies yeah. Yeah. of their actual relationship. Right. Yeah. That's what right? I said. Because you don't be giving them breadcrumbs like, oh, he could spend the night this night, but then four weeks later, it's fuck you. That's why don't I said, doing I that think don't do that. establish that this, the romantic relationship is over. If it's actually that's over, it. yes. That's over. Yes. How are we going to coexist for said child moving forward? Period. I think you should, instead of pushing him away, bring him a little closer and talk it out. Yo, I need you. What do you need, bro? And 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 it ain't gonna be <laughs> if he come out his mouth saying I need some box. Then that's what a relationship that might need mean. to stop. Yeah. But what do you need from me to make this a a little better on you? Yeah. Cause it's hard for men when they lose their family. Mm-hmm. Like he's not just a lot of y'all think, oh, he losing me. That's why he like that. No, this no, man is family. losing his right. family, right. dog. Right. So you gotta talk to him and see how. Y'all can y'all can coexist healthily. I think that's I, I think that's a great thing, bro. And maybe you yeah. uncover that that is what it is. It's the family aspect, and maybe you mm-hmm. do end up wanting to try. We don't know. We'll never know. But let us know what happens on the back end. Uh, be safe out there. I know Chris said meet with them, but make sure you're safe too. <laughs> these niggas do be crazy. Facts. Yeah. They do. They do be crazy. <laughs> uh, where y'all want to go? We were talking about Gifts? Valentine's Day, but we know, all of us don't really care. I was asking what a, what's a, a good date. Because, like I said, I push back on the two for 20. It could be a good date. It's just not going to be an experience you're going to have with me because I don't eat there. Um, but a date could be a walk at the park. It could be Boy. tacos. It could be a man thing. Ooh. No, I've been said I that. They're going to fry your ass. They're not going to fry me. <laughs> They're going to fry you, bro. If they go, if they you go, broke. If they go, you no, broke no, if you no, say no, that. No, no, no. Oh, see, no, but, no, no. but I'm going to fry him because if you go look back at episode one. He can change, bro. Let the man know, change. No, no, no. I, no, fuck his change. <laughs> <laughs> fuck his growth. Fuck his change. No, no, no. I don't come on. My shit. Hold on. Come on. None of that shit. It's our anniversary. And we're going back to episode one. And we, me and Chris are like, yo, it can be a walk. It can be a sit down in the park. No, that's broke nigga shit. No, fuck. I never said I never I never said it was broke nigga shit. No, I did not. I said two for 20 some broke nigga shit. But you also said we were were like, he was a bad bitch. (laughs) He was a bad bad bitch. Don't call me a bad bitch. He's a baddie. (laughs) Don't call me a baddie, bro. Hey, no. No, no, no. He was like, nah, a walk is not a, that's not a date. That's not a date. We was like, oh, it could be a, it could be a, uh, it would be part of a date. Oh, or a picnic. That ain't no. That's not a date. No, I never said that. I think that. Go back and watch episode one. I'm gonna go Call back me and watch. Yo, let me, let me ask y'all a question. Okay. Yo. Let me ask y'all a question, Chris. Before you move the goalposts, right. I'm not gonna move it. I think that a good date really is something that is catered to the other person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I, whatever I do on this date with you, is gonna be evidence that I know you on a level other people do not. Mm-hmm. Even if it's I just met this person, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, Meh. Let, like I was about, the experience is going to be catered it to me. If you know the person I'm dating, somebody I've been with, but it's just the first date. How am I know? But it don't say the first well, you didn't so say that's a general day. But you we're s- talking about Valentine's Day. If I just met you, you're not my Valentine. Or we just said what's a good right, date? Then we're gonna be a good, yeah, yeah. Like if I just met you, you're not my Valentine. The question isn't even you could be. I just said what's a good date? You could be with right. the person for so twenty years, speaking. one year, one day. It don't matter. It's I what's feel a like good date? that goes into foundation though. Like how do we start? Were we friends, or did you just meet me and look at me and be like, oh, she looks good. I want to date her. Because that's how it normally happens. Nothing. But uh, I said what it I said. It is. <laughs> when it, is when you became friends, it's because he said, Oh, I like her. I think she looks good. I'm going to be her friend first. It's the same. We were friends for a year. For a year? Yeah, we worked together. You liked her though. from the jump? No, nah, I hated No, he did. Oh, yeah. I was, yeah. was mean as fuck. You were about to say, Hell no. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Hell no. But it wasn't like a, Oh, she, man. Who asked who out there? It kind of just happened. Yeah. Like for real. Oh, okay. It kind of just happened. I was drunk and I kissed him, though. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah, that was kind of crazy. Uh, I kissed him at a Waffle House. I wonder. Hey. Shout out to Waffle House. Waffle House. Check out here. Check, check. Keep it out of here. 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 Ke
Okay. Shout out to Waffle House Green and Black Union. Yes, sir. Come on. Green and Black Union. <laughs> I don't like Waffle House. <laughs> no, no. I just, I just, it's about the experience. And I, I, now yeah. what I will push back on, I know they're in the red pill community, like first date got to be some coffee, some some low budget <laughs> shit. Right. And I, I feel where they're coming from because you do want to protect yourself against these women right, that might gauge. be out here that, that's yeah. trying to get some. Mm-hmm. But for me, it's always going to be about what am I trying to do that day? It's never going to be like, oh, well, if I want to go slide to wherever I want to go eat, she might get lucky on that day I'm going to eat. I'm not going to be like, oh, it's first date. I'm taking her to get coffee. Right, you right. taking them to the White House? Okay. They get she lucky? Might think that's good <laughs> they might get lucky. <laughs> you, first of all, you know the dates for the White House. I might not. That might be my day. You lucky. God, I hate him. <laughs> you lucky. And, and that might be a good date because she's going to enjoy herself. Blah, 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 blah. She's going to enjoy herself with Kadeem regardless. Of course. Yes, yes. Her ego, person. ego. Yes, yes. On camera is wild. Let's just, let's just make this be known. Let's just make this be known. <laughs> You could take a girl to whatever restaurant Kadeem thinks is the top restaurant. She could still call you a cornball on the back. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You'd still yeah. be like, oh, that's that irrelevant. Like exactly. It's about the experience. It's right. about the experience. Right. And the, me yeah. taking you to get wherever we going to eat ain't really supposed to be the experience. I'm the experience. Right. right. I just happen to like good bone in fillets, and you can't go to two for 20 that. I'm sorry. Then, you right. That's all I be you, saying. If you, were to, if you all were getting to know each other, say you've only been talking for a couple of weeks or whatever, you hear her talk about her Haitian background and you say, oh, I'm going to take her to this fire. There you go, Lydia. There you go. Because I was listening to that's, you. There you yeah. go, Lydia. That yeah. is a good date. That's why I about, mm-hmm. I it's catered it. listen, to yeah. the woman. But that could backfire on you it if this too. spot ain't fire or authentic Haitian it's and you outside the, the culture. You should let her bring you in there. It's, it's the, the effort. Thought that it's, count. Exactly. Yeah. You tried to do something specific to me. Yeah. I feel you. That if, thought that counts only no, works for guys you like. No, no, no. It don't work for the nigga that he barely got in. There you go. And now fucked up. you know. But that's also for men to listen to as well because if she doesn't see that the, the she doesn't cater more to the thought rather than Thanks. oh this ain't authentic then that ain't the woman oh, yeah. for it's you a lot bro. of stuff yeah. you that's the woman that here. ain't gonna have that ain't gonna understand when you impart logic it's mm-hmm. gonna be the same woman yeah like, there's a lot of stuff out here you could do that the 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 dude she's really feeling could do half of that and she'd be Facts. swooning but you got to jump through i'm telling you facts of course that's well, why men you, you should just yeah, do whatever the you want that counts but it only matters when it's the di- the guy you care about his thoughts you don't care about every dude that yeah you know, and and don't sit here and act like you only go on dates with guys well you care every about. now and then a woman will fall in love with this ugly Thanks, random look, dude <laughs> said she said it low but she said some dudes are just good to go eat with and that is the girl that you You're don't right. take that's to get true. The, that's, that's, that's true. the girl that you make sure she don't get joe's or maestro's or something no cuz she's finesse <laughs> that ain't, but that she's the coffee date. No, because every now and then, every now and no. then, this woman Atlanta. will fall madly in love and have babies with this nigga who's super ugly. And why? Because he did things that were catered to her specifically. No, but That's he's true. always it's always gonna be out of order. <laughs> to me, it's always gonna be out of order because he's mean? always exactly gonna be that. running behind her and chasing it's always her. Always gonna be out of okay, order. Okay, and that might just be problem. their dynamic. That, but if it works, hey, it man, works. That's fine. But I think I think stats have proven. That half the stuff we ain't, we doing ain't about working. The beta man what? with that yeah, woman. What's that? Most marriages well, no, are failing. That's a stat. Most marriages are failing. Uh, yeah, of course. That's true. No, Lydia said, "Where's Willie to talk about?" This? Willie says that because he's seen a lot of these girls be around these beta dudes. Right. That, like she said, he know he, he know he good to go to eat with, so he keep feeding into that. Ruth, Chris, Mastros, Joe's. He sure do. Gibson, Maggiano, uh, Papa Do's. How many? How many? So ours. But I'm saying, wait, 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 wait. Willie's not here to have this argument with me. Willie. I'm talking I'm about guys you. that are good to just go eat would be the ones that's like, yeah, girl, I could take you to Papa Do's. Yeah, what you uh, want? What you blah, want? Blah, what you blah, want? Blah, I'm blah, like, blah, should I take everything, nigga? Like, all of it. Super all of it. That be the dude. Oh yeah, let me get two to go place because I have two homegirls at the crib. Come on now. Like yeah, like yeah, I can take you to Papa Do's. Like you clearly want to spend your money, spend it on me. I'm hungry. This is why in the red pill community they say take her for coffee to figure right. out her intentions. I'm just saying do that vetting cool beforehand. That so yeah. yeah, but you ain't never gonna make it to that restaurant because he gonna right. like be able to peep like oh she ain't fuck with me cook co- no. coffee she don't like me. But if we're going no, for coffee, like coffee you're a I certain enjoy type of you. dude like clearly you want to go and have a conversation like right. you want to go you want to know me. But why are you taking me to Maggiano's on our second date? Like, Maggiano's is a mad regular restaurant. It is, but for some people, it's not. Like everybody, you can not say at that, that about stage of everything, life. though. What? You can say that about everything. Ruth Chris ain't Brooklyn Chop House. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That, no matter where you are in life, there's always going to be that, you know, it, this is impressive to this person or not. You got to want to mess with me. So no matter exactly. where I'm taking you, it don't matter. That is the point. 
that is always going to be my okay, point. No, that's yeah. why I don't argue about where you go right. to eat this, that, and the third. Because, yeah, like you said, Maggiano's. And somebody's like, oh, shit, we go to Maggiano's. Where I'll be like, what? That's not even good Italian. I don't want that. And I, I think once you get... Once you <laughs> get you, no, and you're confident in that. And you know that the woman that you have chosen to be with you, you you're she's going to have a good time. Right. She's going like, to yeah, have that confidence about you. I feel tacos. like nature The men that don't have that, the men that don't have that are the problem. Nature is the perfect first date. You get to see what that person's about. You get to see, especially... Oh, nature like outside. But that's what I'm saying. If you're... Yes, nature. I've never been there. I feel like nature is the perfect hey, first day funny, bro. because even if like you, you don't like being outside down. I get to see you outside your comfort zone yeah. And then I get to see you if it is inside your comfort right. zone. I get to see you doing something you love to do. I feel like anything that's active is the perfect first or second date. Rock climbing, nature, rock climbing. kayaking, rock climbing. That's like climbing. a hike, like something. Because I want to see: Do you complain? Like, do you can you adapt to your situation? Like, what's going on? Yeah. And I, me personally, I don't hesitate. I'll take my man on a date. Easy. Let's go. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. We going in the jeep, okay. taking the doors off. Help me get the doors off. We going. Bet wonderful, but mm -hmm. it better not be no mosquitoes. It, nature is the perfect first mm. date. Mm. Mm, I'll pass. Thank you. Don't date lady guys. Indoors, please. <laughs> we can go indoor rock climbing. But that's at least that's something. Like it gets you moving, it gets you active. Like yeah. it gets you outside your comfort zone. How or you it, feel if you go like bowling with a dude and you beat him? I don't. Oh, I I'm not competitive. That. Well, I'm. I'm lying. I love. I'm that. competitive, but what I'm not competitive. I'm gonna hold the ball over my head. Yeah. Let's talk yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, even though my bro is out here, he um, where's Willie at? He's at uh, California. Yeah, he's in California mm -hmm. at a, a, a men's retreat for his king's council or whatever. But he went on a date, and she beat him. And she was like, next time, let's go do something you're good at. Ooh. 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 Damn. <laughs> and when he texted me that, I was Ooh. weak. <laughs> no second date for her, Willie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she might not want to go with him. He can't marry that woman. <laughs> he can't marry that girl. <laughs> what about uh, me and Caitlin was talking about this the other day, uh, gifts. Gifts for guys, cause mm. you know women like they sometimes they'll do like flowers and don't candy and stuff like that for us, but that's not really what guys want. And I was, yeah. you know, she was like, "You don't think that's sweet when I get you flowers?" I was like, "No, not really." Yeah. Cater I, 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 I was just, I was Cater just about to say, go, to the person. Now hold on, okay. I have to no, show you that no. I saw inside of you. Hold on, pause. Anyway, big pause. What I'm saying, so uh, and I don't want to make it about me because everybody swears getting gifts for me is mad difficult, which I disagree. Because you don't appreciate. Because you rich boy. I gave you a. I gave Kadeem a rock <laughs> from the top of a fucking mountain. I hiked to the top of a motherfucking mountain and I stole a big ass rock and I stole? gave it to Listen this, to this nigga stuff she's for his birthday. She stole. I stole mm. it because you can't take rocks off the reservation. Mm. I was stolen too. I stole a mountain rock from the tippy top. <laughs> nigga, I, I, I dead ass almost died. Was it like Get from a, this Was it from a volcano rock. or something? I gave it to your ass. <laughs> was it from and a volcano or something? Threw it outside. If, all, right, all right, Lydia, was it just like I put a it? Where it belonged? It was, it was like a talisman. We don't even know what mountain was she at. It was a at? big ass rock. Look, well, she didn't even know the what name color of the mountain, it? bro. What color was the rock? In Shenandoah. What color was the rock? Bear mountain. Was it? Was it like all black? It was no. like slate. It was like green. It wasn't it was green. I gotta see the rock. It was gray. I gotta it see was gray. It was a rock. Nigga, I carried it from the mountain. Yeah, no. I know what color no, it was. It was a rock. You don't appreciate it. It was a hair. No, lady. It used to be a hair. It was a hair. Whatever. I, mm -hmm. could get, I also got him one of those things. The it was a rock. It. You got one got, extra and gave it to me. But yeah, you. I could have returned it and got my 500 back. But you I could have. You should have. I gave it to you. Thank you. I said thank you. It's at my house. Wow. That felt good. I'm quiet now. I said thank you when you gave it to me. It feels good to hear it again. Anyway, yo, you see sidebars. <laughs> What's a good gift for a man? Not a rock. It depends. Let's on just say, <laughs> let's just say, men are tired of <laughs> men are tired of getting tools. Men are tired of y'all using Ties. some some top as the as the junk. Right. No underwear. Sex is not a gift. It's not. it's not. Well, it depends on what kind of underwear, nigga. Like, no, so then sex will be, she got on a lingerie. What? Oh, like, oh, it like depends. Her, oh, me. Yeah, for you. Yeah. Okay. Me personally, I'll take you to a different country. But that's me, though. That's fire. That's fire. Like a, a whole experience, like a, Thank, a core fire. memory. Like let's create a core memory oh, together. Yeah, that's fire. That's Cause fire. like we can go into Japan in the summertime. That's and fire. He's always wanted to go to Asia. So. But what I'm saying is like a little. That, that's a grand. Like we're not talking about those. I'm talking about like just a gift. Like when a guy brings you flowers. What's the equivalent to a woman bringing flowers home? I, but you I think gotta know what he likes. Like for yeah. him, it's steak and cheesecake. But I think that's, that's deep what she said because I did the love language thing and gift giving or gift getting was like at the bottom. At the yes. bottom, yeah. so it's normally but quality yeah. time was at the, at the top. So I feel and like her giving me. that gift to a guy like me would be perfect because yeah. you're circumventing the. I don't really like getting gifts. I'm cool, 
But if you now you bringing it up to the quality time thing, we're going to Japan. Y'all going to Japan? You're going to, it's not really. It's a gift, but. It's quality it's time. Right. It's actually yeah, so like, it's elevating the relationship. Right. Yeah, yeah you understand. So, so if, I think that's great. So there like, are no some, small gifts for guys. No. no that's like not if true. it's small, okay, do I'm you asking. value like your family, like your grandmother, your Because then it's like, okay, cool. Both I can go get a girl. portrait, like frame or mm-hmm. portrait, your favorite portrait of your grandfather or something. Yeah. Put it in a frame. Like it don't gotta be something. Fire. But it's like that genuine like it's spot that yeah. counts. Your favorite quote. I can get that painted on the wall. Like it's just going out your way to like see outside of yourself for that person with genuinely makes that person move what rocks their mental yeah. like like if you, you have if you have a, if you have like, a driven man right say kadeem you you're driven for this podcast caitlin can get you something that helps you uh elevate the podcast yeah. i think that would be a good That's gift like your favorite no mic gift, there's no that would be a good gift a good, good, i think you should focus on your man. man's purpose and what his dreams are and then get him something that helps him get closer to him. even if it's a book like a podcasting book Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying, like something. Yeah. And then you gotta know what kind of man you are. Some men really appreciate laughter. Like you get him something that's hilarious. Like put your face on a pair of his drawers or something. Yeah, that's funny. You know I, I think that's, that's funny. funny. See, yeah. no, no, you would appreciate I don't, that. I don't, I, don't, I, don't want it, I don't necessarily want it, but if, if it happened, like just as a like a gift, that's hilarious. Exactly. Yeah. Some Yo, men don't appreciate that, that. You gotta know your that man. Is, yeah. Yo, Chris See, is a wild. Man. He's a wild what? creep. He said, older that box. Older that box. Hey, for when she's not here. Put a picture of you on the front of his boxes where. Would a dick come that, out with your mouth open? Bro, yeah, I was gonna say that, that shit. Like, that shit's <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, that, that's a funny ass gift. You gotta have blue bones. Know your man. You gotta have blue bones. Get him bones. something that I speaks actually, to what's on the inside. I actually like that gift. See? <laughs> See, that's right. funny as shit. <laughs> gotta know your guy. No right. more tools, yo. <laughs> you don't like tools. No bro. more drills and shit. I would never. I go got to tools work, when we, slave. When we, when we, <laughs> I know, right? When we uh. Clothes on the house. I got a tool. You need tools. If you got a, if you're a homeowner, you That's need tools. Need. Right. That is yeah. true. You can't keep on giving me tools. Well, but if you're a handy dude and you into the new drill or this, that, right. and the third, okay. then that's tools a good gift for you. That's what I'm though. saying. Tools are expensive. Yeah. But that's see, not that's as cheap. expensive as a trip. You're talking about a lot to well, no, all over the no, world. No, see, that's I mean, a misconception. Get you this power but, I mean, drill. No, that's a misconception. Yeah, exactly. Trips don't be that expensive like people always think. They don't. You can priorities. It depends. Depends on what toolkit you get. Depends. Okay. Toolkit. Them big old. Uh, shelves, uh, two kids, and that's oh. expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you can go on a trip. For Three bands, that's a trip. I was gonna that's a trip. Even know that. Priority. You know, get them stamps up. Um, I don't know. It sucks that this 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 one is very bland, just because do do guys like gifts? Yeah, when, yes. we like I'm very gifts. Good at gifts. Yes. We're not used to receiving gifts. Yeah, and to Chris's to point. What are my top two? Like uh, quality time and uh, physical, physical touch. touch. Yeah, yeah. Right? So mm-hmm. gifts is at the bottom. I've never really received a whole bunch of gifts coming up. So it's not yeah. something I even really think about. <laughs> so when she was asking me, like, you know, I got flowers and this and the third, you didn't really care about it. I was like, that's not for me. I don't even expect them like around like Christmas time. Or, I, don't, oh. I really don't. Let's mm-hmm. get into that. Girl. I really don't. I, I just yeah. feel like. I don't even want gifts for Christmas. And she, I mean, I'm not going to say she doesn't get me gifts because she does. Right. But it's usually something huge like that was expensive. Mm-hmm. There's not a lot of things that like she thinks like are on the list get me that or not and I'd be like oh, it's, it's stuff I just I don't think about it because when it's something small like that I just get it when I need it yeah Crystal got me tickets to a um, I think it was the Cavs game when we went to DC mm-hmm. Yeah, that was, was fire. That, that was fire. Yeah, make sure he appreciates oh, it though, because I can't fire. get my rock yeah, back. Yeah, that's, that's a memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see that commercial, I blow. I was there. Yeah, yeah we were right there. I know mm-hmm. where it's at. I don't know why you would think I would keep a rock. Because it was special. Paul. You know, and this is the thing too. Cause <laughs> I had to, I had to tell my father this the other day. I was like, "Hey, bro, just stop getting me gifts altogether. Cause you're not good at it. I don't ever use them. I don't want to be rude, but you're killing the grandfather gift giving. Yeah. At least he issues every that. time you think about getting me. So, but this is all new, cause it didn't used to get me anything. Mm. Yeah. And now he don't know me well enough to really get mm. me stuff. So then you're getting me things I I never use, bro. That's right. the conversation. And I didn't want to be rude. So last year I told him, I was like, "Yeah, you, but you're killing the grandfather <laughs> stuff. So just keep getting Sienna stuff." Please, you're killing it. She, I use everything. And then he got me something for Christmas this year. It was like a, it's like a little RGB light that he was like, oh, you could put in your studio. And I was like, have you seen my studio? Bro? Let's be corny. Let's be corny for a second and be like, you know, the best gift you can give your man is peace. That's it. Mm-hmm. It's the best gift you can give him. That's a requirement. In silence. Going on. Boom. A mute button. Yo. <laughs> 
God. Ooh. A booklet where I'm about to every, say, time, every time, every right time right I want now. you to say shut, stop, stop, it. It. stop talking you right get, now. You get a coupon. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Matt, 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 Matt. One, one hour silence. Right here. No, don't say nothing. Cash it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. It ain't going to cost you nothing. It really ain't. Silence is gold. Yo, for real. That's free as hell. Free as fuck. They ain't going to get that one. They'd rather go spend three racks. They'd rather go buy you something. I'm going to spend three racks. Quiet. Shut up. Oh, never shut up. Never. Never going to give you that. Never. Never. Oh, fuck that. You won't hear my voice for three See? weeks. See? See? That's free as hell. You, you asked for silence. Don't you ask for silence. You got an overboard. It's that would be that's one look, hour. I would be fine with the three. I'm right. like, cool. Did you say something? All right. Keep it moving. Petty. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all want to do next, man, so we can get about here? Um, being a good man isn't enough. Oh, yeah. You want to do that clip? Being a good man isn't enough. It never was. <laughs> Only on TV. We define what's good. A, what's a Let's good man? Get it. <laughs> oh, we we'll back from a break. If you haven't yet, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Oh. So cute. She's so cute. <laughs> That's where you end up being depressed because I'd be like, oh no, not my family. <laughs> I'm not going to see What more do you want from me? Oh no. She's going to be a, a teenager. Yeah, she grown, grown now. Tell me what to do. Yo, I hope I'm still around when she's like about to go to prom and shit. Oh, you gonna be, you gonna be hilarious. Mm-hmm. No, we're gonna set prom on fire. Yeah, you gonna be hilarious. <laughs> fire. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We gonna set you prom on fire. You see her dress uh-huh. at two? Uh huh. We are going in. Yeah, yeah. Keep thinking. No, we going in about that night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, keep thinking. Just give it some time. No, I'm just saying. But nine out of ten, she probably would lose it before that. No, don't say that, what? bro. Probably what? True. What? 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 Yes. It's true. No, he being real. No. Well, we no. no there has prob- to be. I was like, what do y'all think? That, I had this stat the other day. What do y'all 16. think the average woman Guys. loses it in Virginia? You got right. oh, no, 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 I don't have a stat. Is there? But let me Google I'm, it. I'm, no, it's like thirteen or something. I'm just kind of yeah. like piggybacking on what you're saying. Not thirteen. It is thirteen. Honestly speaking, he. I know he doesn't want that to happen. Yeah, I'm just being realistic. Yeah, he's being realistic. And think about think about you. At, at your age, in 14, 15, and 16, what were you doing? I, I get that we okay. have to. Okay, so I, why are we why are we having our holding our kids to a different standard? No, we should. No, we should. We should, but that's not real. It's also okay. not realistic. And they got well, way our, more our access parents, to stuff than we yes, had. Our parents didn't that, want us doing that yeah. either. They held us to a standard under, too. Yeah, just no, not really. I understand. We should want our kids to be that's different. Yes, but when we talk about <laughs> realistic, we're uh, assessing the the median. Like, I don't think Sienna's going to be the median. Uh, my daughter's not going to be the median. I don't want my daughter to be the median. I'm sorry. Your parents Hell do the no, same thing. Hell no, y'all babies ain't no mid. But I'm not, I'm <laughs> not saying that my... Your parents thought the same thing. I'm not saying my life's going to be crushed if I, fe- if I find out they haven't yeah. said, I know that's going to happen. But no, nah, I'm going to do what I can I'm to make sure, sure it don't happen. Same, what your, you going to do to stop it? My mom had try to no talk to them, I'm trying to talk to them like, the most about sex and give them the most I can get them about sex. Period. You think that's going to stop it? Bro, it can stop a lot of things. Me talking mm-hmm. to my son about guns and, and safety. That might get stop, save his life. Guns too. and butter. Yeah. Just because, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, we could say, oh, this is this just going to happen? All right. Y'all keep talking it into existence. You know what? I'm going to talk this into existence. All right. You know I'd rather what, talk this and then maybe not le- let you. it not happen than just lean and be. Though. No, I agree. No, no, but I'm saying I would rather try to circumvent it than just lay down and be like, oh, it's just going to happen. I have nothing wrong with that. I, I didn't mean, say I was laying down. At, I just was saying realistically. I don't. At some point, don't it is, but you also don't want to overdo early, it because yeah. I remember being in high school and being like, yo, just if anybody at this point, because I want to know, everybody keep talking about it. Everybody keep talking about it, girl. What is going on? Exactly. And our, our, <laughs> job, is, <laughs> our job is to make sure you don't feel that sounds way. Crazy. It sounds that insane. Anybody. Anything. You're saying it with someone's pride. It's with anybody. I graduated. You sir. I graduated. A virgin. All right. I can graduated. I, <laughs> I graduated a virgin, though, still. Can I please? Nah, that's crazy. But right. I was being so exacerbated with everybody like... focusing so much on sex. I was like, yo, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I just want to get over this hump. My friend. Yeah, pause. No, 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 no pun intended. All right, all right, all right, all right. We was doing the clip before the bathroom break. <laughs> It's the last one. We got sidetracked. Or what are we doing? No, we got a couple up there, but all right. Yeah, well, we don't got a do woman all can talk her out of a relationship. You can talk. We we do that. Yes, we will talk. I, I, our I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say something, and this mm-hmm. might ruffle a little feathers. I don't think just being a good man is enough <laughs> to be to stay okay. in a relationship with them. But when I say a good man, I mean like he's I don't, good. All that means all around. That means. <laughs> 
himself spiritually, <laughs> mentally, physically. That's great. Healthily. Like but he's a good man. That doesn't mean that he's the man for you. And right. maybe when you're going through these motions of getting to know him, up. you're realizing Single forever. Okay, he's a great person, but honestly, he don't he I don't fuck with his humor. Like he could be funny, but and he's that's not funny. And to that's me. why a lot of modern or, women are getting 40 with 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 four cats and no man because uh -huh. he's, Maybe that's what he's a like. good he's a good man but because he's not I funny in between you gotta you gotta throw that out sometimes a woman can talk her All right. out of <clears throat> yo you know what's wild yo women were would deal with the bullshit with their cats before they deal with bullshit from a man. That's that crazy. part. Your cat ain't all that great either. Your cat, that be, your part. Part. Yeah. Look, your cat be pissing all over the place. I, <laughs> piss, I piss in the desert. Your cat <laughs> doesn't even care <laughs> about you. Your cat don't even do what you tell him to do. It does its own thing. God, your cat damn. will eat you when you die. If you die in the house by yourself, your cat will eat you. The really? Fuck? What? That's, yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Fun, Fun fact. That's Fun happened. Fact. Yeah, that's happened. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Why y'all talking dark about cats and dogs and shit? Oh, yeah. Like, without hesitation, they'll be like, oh, all right. Good. So being a good man isn't enough, but we already knew that. Let's yeah. just quit, guys. I can't. No, no, no. no, just, no we gotta define no, I can't, can't though. I can't. Just stop. I can't. No, Chris, I'm with you. Let's stop. I honestly, I up. agree with y'all. I can't. I Let's feel like up. that. What a white woman at? What? Whoa! What? Wow! It's February. What? Wow. It's February. Y'all respect him trying to take my platform out of here. What are white women <laughs> at? Because they be at the gym. For Thank every you. fucking Thank you. What, for every one black girl, it's eight white girls that are working <laughs> out. Oh my god! No, I was agreeing <laughs> with y'all. I was agreeing with y'all. Okay, y'all went into that. They That's not going crazy. to get BBLs. They really be doing hip hop and squat. No, they be turning <laughs> up in the gym. Hit the ball on that shit. Let's no, the no, that shit. <laughs> they be going ham in the gym. No, y'all did that. No, 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 can I say something? Put in my one mind. Mic, one 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 mic. Can I say something to this? I will say the this, even though we are kind of we're kind of playing. I will say this. I don't see a lot of white women on these mics talking shit about their men. Nah, I will I, say actually, that. actually, actually, to your point, I see a lot of them. I guess being pick me's or like <laughs> online with what we're saying. Why is that? Because y'all got bamboozled, led down the dead the dead end road, and they like, oh, got him. <laughs> Let's go get him in. <laughs> Yeah, mm. that's how I they win. I see a lot of okay. Well, let's just uh, mm -hmm. white men mm -hmm. complaining about their women's emotions either. True lies. But y'all had me. I was agreeing with y'all. <laughs> we went into the whole gym and the BBL and like y'all got completely. <laughs> come on now, like that was a less. We back. Word. We back. We back. We probably like, we back. <laughs> what? We are on the precipice anyway. of going out of here. We need a clip to take us there. Back. Okay, let's go. Us talking about. No, 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 let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Black woman. It's the BBL woman. Also with the black woman. The BBL woman can't get no man. So being a good man, they can get a man. There we go. Go ahead, I think. I That's think when clip. she said being a good man might mean like, oh, he's, you know, just a generally good human being, I guess. No, they you said know, he, he could have, shitty no, things to you people. didn't listen to the whole clip. She said he, he could lie. have his money together. He could be good looking. He could have all these things, be a good dude. But then she was like, oh, but he's not funny. Or he doesn't do this for me. You he know, doesn't do that for me. Lacking. It's always that one thing. See, I think um, it got to be at least two things to like, because I read something somewhere. <sighs> two things. So if I have No, no, no. I'm talking about. Have you heard the story of the. top five. Listen. Lord. This is what I read. And I wrote it down in my notes like a year ago. Like a year <laughs> ago. Right? And it said, basically, that if you can meet a woman's needs in four out of these five categories, she'll never leave you. Right? One was spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, and physically. Okay. Let's just say this. So if you miss it, two of them, you could be a good okay. dude, but... No. No. But Let's if we got four out of five... I'm not going nowhere. This is, I might rock. Th these be the problems with Forever. a lot of the podcasts <laughs> and a lot of the articles and a lot Start of the home. this. Hold on, hold on. Chris about to cook. Because let, let a lot cook. of us let these articles say, oh, your perfect man is this. Oh, your yeah. perfect woman is that. And I think mm -hmm. that uh, one thing that ne needs to not be ignored is when you go into like an interview, right? Mm -hmm. They say that your qualifiers are already, your credentials are already uh, checked off. They're just trying to see if they like you. Yeah, if you, yeah. If you have some chemistry with the company. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think well, what they're saying, I kind of side with them. Just because you got a job, you got a car, you got a house, that don't automatically qualify you for that woman. 
What's I, your chemistry like? I agree with so that. So I kind of side with her. I'm like, uh, being a good man sometimes ain't enough. We kind of, and then we define good man by those items that we see in the articles and stuff like yeah. that. And that might not, it just might not be the man for you just because he uh, has a car, house, and a job. Well, can right. we do the same? But see, I would disagree yeah. with that statement only because I <laughs> yeah. qualify a good man as so much more than that. Like when I say a good man, that is specific to It's not, it's not about me. finding a good man. It's about finding your exactly. man. Exactly. Yeah. And that's Period. what I would say is the good yeah. man, the one that's good for me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So right. I feel like it's a difference just between, you know, how you want to define that good in a general sense or good for you. That's but we have thing. this conversation so much on the pod about what is good. But y'all all say, yeah, he could be good in all those yeah. things you're talking about. But if he doesn't have a car, a house and all those other things, he don't even qualify he doesn't now. Even qualify no more. That's, what, that's, that's, what I'm so, that's so, not meeting the, the physical and financial needs. If we have a genuine friendship, though, like gene, like not even, oh, we I can fuck with you if you somewhat my friend and no like if you're genuinely my friend because and I know everybody has seen this thing where it's like a friendship breakup is worse than an actual breakup mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, if y'all, we y'all... have a friendship and that's yeah. our foundation like there's no limit to where I won't help you get rather we're doing it as a team or a partnership mm-hmm. because I'm gonna in certain times and I tell my man this all the time sometimes I don't need you to be my, my man my fiance my boyfriend I need a friend let me ask yeah. you a question so were were y'all in the friend zone per se? We weren't in a friend zone because we didn't see each other being together at all. We were just friends. That's I mean that's, that's, that's kind of a friend zone. Well yeah. No. So you there know, is something. You know I women think there is something a friend too. zone is a zone I put a man in because I don't want it. No, that's what I'm saying. Like I never looked at him and was yeah. like, oh yeah, he's in so a friend when you zone. Say, he's saying friend zone like y'all were friends. Y'all was in a right. zone where y'all were actually platonic friends. Well, yeah. When women hear friend zone, they think right. I put him okay, in because yeah, I don't I fuck see what with you're him. Saying, right. yeah. But I, all I'm, the only reason why I'm saying this because I think there's something to y'all's relationship and y'all think y'all started it off probably one of the best ways you can is by establishing a friendship because I think you're less susceptible to lie. You're more to yeah. be loyal. You're more to being uh, transparent and honest when that's your friend. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not just somebody that I want to lay down with and hump or not. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I think the friendship <laughs> is important. Right. So, I was going to yeah. say y'all are kind of proof that some some women need to like, maybe y'all need to dip back into that friend zone and, and look and see if there's some qualifying guys in I there, I definitely you know, want to see least expect it. You know, least like, expect hey, those it, ones. Do it. Those will <laughs> be the ones that it. women don't want to give them a chance, and those be the best men. Uh, like, they be the best ones. Say it again. Ones. Say it again. Those they be the, the, the they ones be so that you don't want to like, give a chance. They be the best men. Well, like, I don't want to mess up her friendship. Bitch, that's your husband. Right? No, mess it up. Most of these women are overlooking <laughs> those guys. Mess it up. I'm not rolling with y'all, man. <laughs> I'm rolling with they, what they talking about because that is true. You want to have that. But at the end of the day, these women don't look at that. They don't be like, they don't value that. I'm telling you, they but don't. They value the car, what he can do for me, what he can bring to me. Like, that's what they really looking at. Because that's, that's what y'all they, put out there. No, and that's why. No, 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 no. You can't keep saying that. Now. That's what we put out there when that, those are the things. Kevin Samuels had a whole platform of what, what I want. I want a six figure man. He got to be six feet tall. He got to do this, 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 and this. They had a laundry list. Laundry list. But None of it was about his character. So we're not going to go into the one thing. You're right. But we shouldn't, we shouldn't because been, women have we shouldn't a picture. Been to that. We shouldn't have been to that, though. Women have a picture of what we want our life to look at. We don't have no details. Remember we got into this? We don't know the specifics yes. of it. We want, you know, house, white picket fence, Thanksgiving, grandkids. None you know, of that shit. Yeah. 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 None of that has nothing you to do with the man? guy. So yeah. when you find in the dude, you want to say, oh, can <laughs> he get me there? That's what the women look no, at. It ain't even about, most of the time, no, it ain't you only about, have outward things to look y'all, at before you get to know him. For y'all, it ain't even about can he get yeah. me there. Y'all look at the men, y'all look for men to already have all that stuff in place. Yes. Yep. Okay. So, and then, I, so, and then, and then when it comes to Kevin Samuels, and if he doesn't, then we're dating for I'm Pinto. 26. All right. When you get on this side of 30 with us, you, we'll Come see on, what you're talking about. I'm not that. I'm knocking on 30. If he doesn't already speak. have it, and then I'm we're weird. getting into that dating for Potential. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you're a whole you young. I remember when I was 26. Thank you. Like, I'm not that far. Show the back end of the hill. But also, but also, but also, listen. Show the back I am a decade older than her, But listen, listen, listen. I'm also, I'm also in the military. So I deal with. And I deal with people of all sorts of a- on the age spectrum. Like what, what branch on. y'all in? Yeah? The y'all Navy. Both, y'all both Navy. We're yeah. both in the Navy. And then before him, my last serious relationship was with a forty-something-year-old man, and I was yeah. dealing. That's a whole nother conversation. But I started dealing with him when I was like twenty, twenty-one. Like so, how was it, that? You date one of your father's honestly, friends? Honestly, probably. Great. You said what? You date one of your dad's friends? I didn't meet my dad till I was sixteen. Oh wow! Yeah. 
No, but how, yeah, how, 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 how was it dating the, the older? The and older what, man? The, and me and him used to talk about this all the time because he's younger than me. And I would tell him, age doesn't mean shit. Like, age doesn't automatically guarantee maturity. Mm-hmm. So I could no, be I dating a 40 some year old man. I still can't tell him nothing. And then it starts to feel weird because it's like, I'm not a fetish. Like, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. But at the same time, it's like, if I can't tell you nothing, you feel like you're you're the sole, like, you're the judge, the jury, and the executioner in our situation, then it's mm-hmm. like, why are you with me if you don't want my input? So what, pop out babies for you? Yeah, that's why yeah, somebody basically. would be for like, you. Talk to somebody. Because you look yeah. nice. 100%. That's yeah. why yeah. you got you to gotta, you gotta go ahead and trust yeah. that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what did you think he was talking <laughs> for? In that, in that situation, yes, that's exactly yeah, what well, Yeah. Y'all got to so, establish that in the beginning. He went to go find a young yeah. team to yeah. do yeah. those things. I mean, but the some old that, okay that. The 40-year-old that like men, them can't have babies. Older <laughs> men <laughs> aren't always like that. Like, some yeah. older men, you can be younger and you can still teach them things. Like, you can still mm-hmm. have like, that conversation, that back yeah. and forth. Like, So, is being a good man enough? Yes or no? Let's just see if we can get a yes Being a man it. that's good it for me be. is enough. For I don't think it's enough. I think I agree with... It's not. I think I agree. It's not enough. Y'all going to... And well, I think that, but I think it'll save, the only reason why I'm saying that is because it'll save a lot of men, a lot of good men time because you feel like, oh, I should be getting this That's because of this. You got to watch what you're chasing. Mm-hmm. You got to watch exactly. who you're giving your time to because they're not going to value certain things. And then you're going to have a particular woman that's tailored set to you. I so why do I, they say nice exactly. guys finish last? Because, all right, so because no, they, and that's a, that's why like, do they say that? You know because what? They're not, dealing you know with, what? they're not dealing with women. Because the nice that, guy that is like the generic ahead, Elliot, cookie cutter. He fits most things about 70%. But women are gonna look for that thirty they're missing. But y'all don't mind. The nice guy nova. is is, is like one size fits all clothing. Like it might fit, but it ain't for you. Yeah. Go ahead, Elliot. It's like bespoke or one size fits all. Which one you want? Yeah. But y'all love fashion over. Go ahead, Elliot. Go ahead. Um, Fuck it. To answer, to answer <laughs> ain't never had a bespoke nothing, right. but they love fashion over. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Go ahead. To answer, your, to answer your question, I think we shoot women a lot of a lot of bill. Like I, on this platform, I know we talk about the difference between men and males. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. but we never talk about the difference between women and like girls or hoes. Fact. Like, mm-hmm. like we we try to generalize what women want based upon like what these new age modern women want, oh. and yeah, that's not that's be. not that shouldn't be the what Instagrammies. The, right, yes. that shouldn't be what we're basing our, our our argument off. If we're talking about a real woman, yes, uh, being a good man is enough. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Then why are they all single? No, they're all. not. They're Let's not, not all. Single. All. Good, there are good women that are married. That's true. They're mm-hmm. married. They're married to these good men. Why are there more? They're, you're right. They're successful. Hold on. Let's talk about black men. There's more black men married than black women. That is correct. Why? Because they're the most programmed. But because they're going outside their. They're the most programmed. Well, I feel like women don't want to marry. And, also. And, and, and also, they're, you know, women outnumber us anyway. They do. So the, kind, the scale is kind of off. Uh oh. Yeah, but, anyway. Hold on. But you know, that stat ain't. Uh oh. That stat no, no, is no, 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 right. It's not overwhelming. It's like 70 30. A single black older woman than to me a single Uh-oh. black older male. Y'all know that. Let's that be is. honest. It like, is why because by the end we probably already picked who we were. Y'all know that don't cater to but y'all. But that doesn't mean that you picked her because you genuinely like her. You fo- like come on like this this you her there's she, something to you picked her because all. she was a good wife. You picked her because she she contribute certain aspects in your relationship that you couldn't bring to that, it that relationship. It sounds like they wanted the shit to be perfect and guys know ain't nothing. I don't. Perfect. I know my relationship's yeah. not going to be perfect. Like well, and I'm okay, okay with that. What, you that's just name things that are like, damn, that why wouldn't I want that though? No, I right. think you're right. Yeah, like, women want things to be perfect. Like y'all ain't never heard the uh, the husband store uh, comparison. What do you mean? The husband store. Women go into oh, a store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on the first oh, yeah. floor, it's that's it's husbands. True. It's guys that want to be married. And on the second floor, it's guys that are athletic. They want to be married and they have good jobs. And then on the third floor, they can please you sexually. And it goes all the way up to the sixth floor. And all the women go past all the floors. They got all the things you want. And then in the sixth floor, it's like, oh, this is your number three billion, 180 million, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. That's been to the floor. There are no men now. I you told pass y'all. Them all the way up. Yeah. And then some, the wife yeah. store, it says, same stuff. She likes to have sex. She's cool. She likes sports. And nobody's ever been past the third floor. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. Because we're simple. We, I, think, I don't need you to be perfect. I just need you to fuck with me. I'm nice. about to say, I got a clip about and that, this. And yeah. being a good man right there and being a good woman should be enough. Because that good woman that you just said, that wife, is just a good woman. Yeah, but like a... She's just oh, a good oh, woman. The, the, the woman's... The, they, they, well... She's not... See, she might not have to get like... All right, he's everything, nah. but he's not 6'2". Right, exactly I think I can my find point. him and so find a six. That's my so first. I have a question. I have a question. Y'all are yelling, y'all are yelling. It's one mic, please. That's why good women end up getting cheated on, too. She could have been a good woman when you was whatever, and you picked her because she was a good woman. She was one size fits all. She's wonderful. Great. Okay. Good person on the inside. Whatever. I don't know which one, one is this. Are y'all one size fit all, all or is all women different? Hold on. Time you. out. Time out. Because earlier she said all women are different, and now it's one size fits y'all. Pick no, no, a no, side. No, 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 no. You didn't say that? 
She did. No, and you did. I know you did. No, it's recording. What I said versus what she said. I don't <laughs> no, I'm saying, but I no, no. All y'all say y'all are all different. Now it's cookie cutter. Which one is? It? But you no, agree I'm with her. saying. What you just said, you chose her because she fucked with you at the time. Yeah. She she was, y'all are simple. She met the simple criteria. Whatever the fuck it was, she counted as a good woman to you. Okay? And probably to most. One size fits all. Like I said. Um, I think that was good I think, enough. I, that doesn't I think, even I think, mean she she one size fits all. You I said it specific to me. <laughs> you I didn't think, say it was one size fits all. me. Go ahead, go ahead. No, you can go. I'm about to say, there's, there's levels to it. And I think it goes back to the interview analogy. Like, you get, you send in your resume, then you qualify for the interview. There's levels, then you get hired for the job. Mm -hmm. So, if you cover those little base little things, mm -hmm. you get the interview, you date, you yep. figure out you can live with this person. Then you move on to getting hired. It should be cookie cutter at the base. Because at y'all's core, y'all are predominantly the same. But as you rise further to the surface, mm -hmm. y'all are different. Y'all are black women. Y'all got lungs, hearts, all that stuff. Y'all are built the same to a degree. But as we get to know you, we start to see why Lydia you, and yourself are different, period. And then that's how it should go with dating. Yeah. Like, the man should have these certain qualifiers, and then let's see if we can live together. That's it. And you know what? I don't even think that men are so evil and awful. Flush. If they, you know, say they've been married to somebody for X amount of time, and then they, they feel like they meet someone that really, like, speaks to their spirit and then I, I don't like cheating of course i don't think you should be doing that but if you may i don't crucify a man for leaving his wife for someone he feels is better suited so I, I do a to a degree i do, I do to too. a degree mm -hmm. i have a question so what if and this is for all the men in the room right what if you find a woman that meets every single attribute you're looking for she fuck with you she her emotions are in check. She's emotionally intelligent. She don't come to you, all of that. The BS. Like, you know what I'm saying? She gives you good sex, but she's like 348 pounds. Those oh. things are never aligned. So are you gonna, <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that first no, that, 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 that analogy you gave no, about that. hitting a, huh? like, no, going I, past. I told you about the resume. She you, didn't even get, you, didn't I, even I get an that. interview. No, I tried that. She was in like three and a half. She didn't get an interview, but. I don't like big girls. She could have been your soulmate. But that's what I'm saying. She could have been my soulmate. My soulmate could have liked the gym. But no, 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 I'm just saying. What I'm saying, it's that 80-20 rule. So 80% of please let I'm just speaking to what she said. I got to hear this. I do too. You did what, bro? No, I tried that. She wasn't um, 300 something pounds, <laughs> but she was like, she might have been she pushing juicy. 200 something. Too. Yeah, she was. She was thick. She was. She, was, she wasn't thick. She was like. She was out of. She was out of shape to a degree. She was a big. To a degree, she's she 200 pounds. She had a, she this had a pretty. She had a pretty, pretty, she had a pretty <laughs> face. Not to, to a degree, she, she's she, out of shape. She had a pretty face. We had a great Chris, friendship. Chris. We had. Hold on, I'm just trying to tell y'all. Out of shape. Dude, I want you to not skip but past. You can be 200 oh, okay. pounds and in shape, depending on your height. I mean, your BMI. It depends on your, your ratios like and a your measurements. BMI, yeah. all of that. But I'm gonna say, yeah, she was out of How shape. How tall does a woman have to be to be 200 pounds Thank and you. be okay? I want to be a BMI. She gotta be at least six foot. No, like what's she shape like a man? 200 pound BMI, Zayna? No, not a 200 pound BMI. I'm saying, stop. I'm saying like you can be a certain height and 200 pounds and still be in shape. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Seven. A microwave. I'm five I'm seven. Over. I'm telling you. <laughs> like, come on now. And I'm over. I'm over a hundred. I'm six three, and I'm not even supposed to be two hundred pounds. I'm just saying, like depending <laughs> on shape, male. The, depending <laughs> on the type of shape you like, that because America's <laughs> standards of what's in shape and what's not. She's out of be. She's out of shape. She's and your BMI and all of that, you can be five seven, two hundred and twenty four pounds, and still a curvy girl with a nice waist and a big ass, but you're you don't look out of shape. Like, you know what I'm saying? Your BMI is up, but you don't just look, oh, my gosh, she's out of shape. Hold you. Ask me because uh, I, I know you. personally. I your health, your health, your health isn't. I know what you're trying to say. You see what I'm saying? I know what you're trying to say. That's why I asked Chris. It's all about what you shaped like a Coke bottle. It depends on what he feels like is in shape or what isn't. Okay, wait, wait. No, in shape is an actual thing. Let each other talk. Let each other talk. Coke bottle. There's plus size women. Lydia, let each other talk. 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 Let each other Oh, because nobody are. cares. <laughs> right. Because you should be fucking 400 pounds. <laughs> Period. No, because it's women that like those. They call them bears. Okay, there's oh some God. women that like those. <laughs> yeah, but most people boy. don't. There's some men that like those, but most men don't. It's okay. The truth is, Chris is, you know, I actually, I tried, she won a big jank, but I tried that once to be with a girl that, she wasn't really my physical type, mm -hmm. but we were friends. That was my nigga. We was cool. Right. I cheated on her. I felt bad. Damn. I cheated on her. Miss USA. You, you didn't feel bad. That's no, I did feel bad. I told her. I was. I felt really bad, bro. Not what you were doing. Because that was my nigga. 
That's a they just kind of just that's a flex. Miss USA. Oh, great, right? That's a flex. Hold up, I would have cheated on you with her too. <laughs> she was a virgin too, so we won't even fucking. So for the whole time we won't fucking. Wow. Yeah. I was like, you knew that was coming. I'm sorry. Yeah. Her yeah. friends even told her like, come on, man, <laughs> <laughs> you won't fuck with him either. I, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I tried. I tried. I tried that I once. Know. It's a genre of women that like those. It's, very, it's a given. The ones take. that look like Rick Ross, they got the big. Y'all look. Oh, you know, I get it. Lives. I get it. Everybody's beautiful. Yeah. Blah blah blah. No, not. But I've seen pictures of me when I was husky Kadeem, and that shit ain't cute. I'm no, sorry. No, and I was a little over two something. That's nasty work. Well, right, okay, be- beautiful. Nasty All right, but that's, work. That's subjective. See, but that's healthy. Healthy, healthy is not. <laughs> you look. You're in that weird in between. <laughs> let's, just, let's say it like this. Either, let's say it like this. Let's say it like this. Are you fat? Let's if say you're it like in this. Between, nobody See, women, you literally, you're in that in between space. I'm telling you, you're one more Hardy's trip away. That's not true. <laughs> like, I no, this is going to bother me. Forty-three. That's then, not true. She is not. <laughs> no, because you don't know my cousin. No. She used to play soccer. She's hella athletic. Okay, but she looks. Listen, let me yeah. let me she put y'all on good. She looks. She's all she looks She looks amazing. One mic. 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 From where I was in high school. One Hardy's trip away. That was dramatic. No, you said you can't. Another combo, it ha- bro. Bro, it happened so quick. It happened so <laughs> quick. She looks good, and I feel that's the problem with y'all America tell y'all now. 300, y'all tell y'all three hundred pound girlfriend that why she looks good. Why did you point at me when you did? No, I said, why, why did you point at me when you did? He said, just no. Hey, did y'all see that? He I just pointed. He said, y'all tell y'all, y'all three hundred pound, and you pointed at me when you did it. I'm saying you tell your girlfriend that. Uh huh. Y'all tell y'all big girlfriend like, girl, you look good. No, and she don't. No, she. My eyes were closed. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm just sitting here like this. All right, I'll do it that y'all way. Y'all tell friend. y'all 300 no, pound right. friend that she looks good too. I'm not saying Why neither one. Why are you pointing at her? Because she, I don't have no right girlfriends here. that are 300 pounds. So just pound. put your fingers down. Right, because they're right this here. This is my platform. <laughs> I'm a husband indicted into the like big bitch I don't like your finger being right here. No, man. Look, I'm a big bitch now. I'm not calling you. I'm saying I, guys, so I've known Lydia my entire bro. life. What eat for breakfast, bro? I've known Lydia my entire life. She looks good. She's still okay looking now. Big body. She's still okay looking. But she doesn't work out and girls think they're going to keep this young why body are you forever. Putting her bit- so you're mad That's because crazy. she can go her whole life without working out and still look no. good, but you got to be in the gym every I don't, Sunday. No, I'm not mad. That's my thing. Okay, okay And one okay. day, she's going to need to go to the gym, too. Man, Lisa, Y'all okay, gotta respect maybe not today, but not today. Today, I'm still fine. Cause All right, and this is what uh, I'm you trying said to what? No, 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 she no. What's true? She walked right into it. Listen. Y'all don't want to listen because these that's maintenance. That's see, like you oh said, that girl God. and me will never align because I like the gym. I love I the gym. Don't I'm not even weigh as much. I'm not talking hey, about Caitlin. you. I'm Thank not talking you. about you. She in the gym. So if she still look good and hey, she y'all, didn't go to the, the gym, same. y'all don't align. And she's in the gym. No, if we if she oh don't go God. to the gym, we're not aligned. So even if she, she looks look good, no. she has a no, a small waist. Everything, but she don't go to the gym. That is naturally her physique, her genetics. Yes. Going, not, going to the gym. Like, it's not even about it's going, about discipline. Going it's to the gym okay. speaks volumes of the character of a woman. Yes. Y'all keep thinking that it's just about the body. It's, it's about like the fact that this woman, food. this woman is going like to take. Salad. You can't say you eat Hardee's and then you like to eat good but food. But the gym <laughs> is not for a <laughs> Hardee's. Body. Body. Okay, and, and it don't got to be the gym. If she's already naturally like that and she just goes running, I'd respect that. Okay, but what if she just goes hiking? What if she that's goes? Either way, what if she parks a little further in a Walmart parking lot from the door? That's not that don't that don't align with my mindset. I don't. I ain't rocking. <laughs> but it like it's different. I'm telling it is crazy. different. No, it's not crazy. It's, I'm telling you. Yo, how tall, yo, how people, tall are you, bro? How tall are you? Like six two, six three. All right. If he was five, five four, you still date him? Five four. Yeah, he's five, five, five four. Yeah, if he was five no. four, you still rock? I would still be with him. You liar. I swear to God. Oh, man, y'all wouldn't got to this how point. I'm a liar and I've been with him for no, three I, years. I've, he never been 5'4 either. I've seen some of the dudes he's been with. <laughs> and none of those three years, he was never 5'4. I've I, I seen, I seen some of the dudes he's been with. <laughs> she, so she, wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What five, you mean? Four. They tall? They, they tall. 5'4? 5'4? Four? Four, you seen some of the dudes I've been with? Yeah. Y'all know how tall 5'4 is? Are they tall? They shorter than me. Marquise. Oh, okay, okay. So she might there might seem to be some validity to what she's saying. Five I just want to check. Though. Thank you. No, no, but no they're no, not five, that four, short. Five four is mad short. Six foot. Five, five four is Kevin shorter Hart. than me. I'm five seven. Exactly. So you would date somebody that's five four? Yes, if it was my man. Don't fuck huh? me, bro. No, so he wouldn't be your man if he was five so four. So That's our point. So no, so what you're saying? Cause you wouldn't even talk to him. Bro. Have you talked to somebody that was five four? No. Yes. No, you're lying. Yes, we was like in the Rule sixth grade. I was in the sixth grade. He was five, four, he was six, sixth grade. No, he was. Next topic, please. No, please. I'm a sixth grade. Everybody was five four. That's a hundred. Literally, everybody's five four. Yeah, she's wild. What are you talking about? And Lydia, you do look good. Nobody was calling you a big J. Look, look, look. No, you know what, Lydia? No, I'm gonna tell you what your cousin's trying to do for you. She don't want. 
want to hear me, but it's cool. Your cousin sees. I'm trying to help you avoid what all these other girls I that still do. fit the clothes you, I had. In no, no, Lydia, Lydia, okay, listen, that's listen, cool. Lydia, Lydia, a lot listen, of girls Lydia, look great. Listen, Linda, Y'all listen. listen. They don't I listen. see. No, I see. No, this is what this is what this is what the tough love is. In the gym, I see so many black women in there trying to make up for lost time. When you now, we you could just go do the you, treadmill. You don't you, even got to do no you hard are work. At a place, I'm gonna just say that you are at a place where you can maintain instead of. That's all I've been saying. Come back from negative. You know what I'm saying? There's so many women out there that are trying to come back from negative in the gym rather than just maintaining. Stay ready, so you don't gotta get ready. That should be the that should be the mindset. It shouldn't be once I gain a hundred pounds, I must try to cut it. You know how hard that is. Difficult. You're not. Y'all are not women. You don't know what it's like to go on birth control All and right. the hormones. That's hella excuses. It's like a man. No, 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 this is like, no, no, like, no, like a black man. This is like a black man right. saying, "I don't have a job or a six figure job because I live, in, I live in a white man's country oh, no. and oh, I'm man. the most oppressed and all that." Y'all don't want to hear that shit when we say it. Listen, and we I don't. When I there's so many. No, every one, every white woman in the gym goes through a period too. Every every one of those women goes through the same shit y'all go through. These are Chris. We just gonna be what real. What I'm gonna say is, I when I feel here. unhappy, we ain't trying to, no, we ain't trying to hear that shit though. We ain't trying to hear that shit. We're then not I trying will to do hear something that shit the same way y'all not trying to hear that I shit from think us. He's not trying, to, not hear trying, trying to hear that shit. Clearly. Niggas like y'all the reason certain women get eaten. Everybody's talking in circles. Because you told me it was a problem when I was okay with myself. Lydia. We're not trying to hear that shit. That's why women get eating disorders. Because we got niggas like y'all telling us we're getting big and we're like, I thought I was okay. Watch Jenny and George. I thought I was fine. But what do black men I liked the way that I looked. So why do you have a problem with it? I don't have a problem with it. And what I put in my mouth has nothing to do with you anyway. Hey, okay. So why are you commenting on the way I look? I'm okay Rule with myself. Rule number two. Lydia, you should be... I should fine. actually put don't get drunk or slash in your feelings about the pod. Lydia. Because the truth I'm is... Drunk, no, I'm talking about talking about talking. Right, and now I'm like, Mike, and now I'm talking, so I don't want nobody else to talk. The truth is what Chris is telling you is the truth. I'm telling you so you don't have to go through that. I've seen every girl I know go through that. All the baddies that were I'm baddies... I'm not them. I'm, okay. Yeah, y'all are all so special. I just lost 50 pounds myself. Ain't nobody in here telling me I was thick. I had my real friends telling me, nigga, you falling off. Hey, mama telling me, hey, bro, you looking thick. I didn't get in my fucking feelings. I went and did something about it. So you mad? I'm not mad. Because I'm fine. I look great. I think. So you say. I think, but that's cool. Anyway. I think. What I'm trying to tell on. niggas is. Just don't tell me I'm a big bitch. Because I'm I didn't say you was a big bitch. Ain't nobody said that. Fuck, not no, not, not a single a big, person in here. Not big. No. Yeah, no. Nobody no. said that. Well, I did. I was joking, though, clearly. It was Nobody okay. called you big. Uh, what, what Chris is trying to tell you is most of the girls that were like you at how old are you today? 27. They were 27. They look just like Lydia. They By the time they have... hit 30, they can't get back to 27. They can't. They can't. They don't even know what the fuck it take to do that. Dudes do that. Because ain't nobody out here going to do nothing for me because, oh, man, yeah, you gained a little weight, but I still love your personality. No, fuck that. That shit don't happen. No, I The don't. truth is, you got to yeah. be about your shit. And what I'm telling you is... I'm not the woman that's going to lose myself and then have my man telling me da 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 whatever the fuck. Your you don't man ain't going to tell more. you that. Okay. I'm most not dudes, doing that. Most dudes don't do that. I'm not most, them. most dudes don't tell that girl she fell off. They just go find the next one. And, and, and but, it's just... Go ahead. I go ahead. Just, I'm okay. telling you, when I feel like I fell off, I'm going to do something about it. Okay. When we I get, feel that. That's all, what I be trying to tell I can see all points, but I think where we got lost is when y'all started comparing us to the white women in the what? gym. Like, that was different. Like, because it's like, okay, cool. Like, why, is it, why is it different, though? Because it's like, why are y'all comparing us? We don't sit there and be like, yeah, 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 and the next white man, or like, Shit we don't me. compare y'all to the next. Well, um, I don't compare my I man think y'all, to the next. I think y'all subconsciously compete to, to top or to be equivalent white men. I don't think y'all are trying no. to be. No. What? No. I don't Wait, think explain. I, I think when y'all talk about uh, wage gaps, y'all not talking about the ones with us. Yeah. That's There's no way in hell y'all talking about the ones with us. We talking about the black men that don't create excuses and keep going and I'm rising talking, and going. I'm and talking about the many of women that are talking about the wage gaps. They're not talking about the wage gaps between black men and black women. You can't possibly be because if you were aspiring to make whatever amount of money you wouldn't think you were making that much paper let's just say because i got an update and most black men make fifty something thousand dollars a year y'all not looking y'all not looking to that y'all looking <laughs> to white men to a degree y'all don't even subconsciously know that y'all are competing with for equivalents to white men and if we're being are. real they should be competing with the asians because the asian dudes that's what make the most that's, that's a lack of education though. that's what i'm that's saying that's a lack of In reality, education but why does everyone come women. back yeah. to what that man is making financially like that doesn't how does that have to do with this black woman and her weight like because both are subconsciously what we kind of well, deem as value, attractive we look at y'all's bodies y'all necessarily look that. at the resources but we already knew that that's that's already established and they're useful and i think we look at that because Y'all are going the other way for the most part. 
Y'all are going BBL, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like y'all are going to the shop to get a shortcut. Uh, right. We can't. We can't do that. Okay. We can't. We can't. Was... sitting back like that. Go ahead. Just relax. I'm just going off. Oh, I'm gonna go off. Right. I'm gonna just go off my case studies. <laughs> we, can't do that. we just got to only go off our case studies. Every man that's been in the gym regularly, I see much more white women in there doing the work than black women. I'm not trying to say there's no black women doing it. I'm talking about what I see. In this area, let's just speak to that. I, I ain't gonna that, say the you whole know, world. No, I've been in, in, in my gym that I go to. No, and I've been I no, no, because I be, I go to the gym all over the country. It don't matter. I'd have to be in like Houston or Atlanta to mm-hmm. see more black women than white women. And even then, it'd probably be more even. It wouldn't be like you know, if you go out here, it's like I said, it's like one mm-hmm. to six. I think it's. I think you know what I think it is. It's a feed off of both insecurities. I think black men be so thirsty for vagina that they just gonna let y'all do whatever. As long as it don't matter if you two hundred. 180, 250, if you letting us slide, we're not going to say nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's the fact that y'all necessarily don't want to do the work, so y'all going to keep going back to them little dudes that don't want to tell you nothing, but it's going to let you. And then it's just a deeper thing than just appearance. It's much deeper than appearance. We dying from high cholesterol, Mm -hmm. high blood pressure. Mm Y'all are too. It's just not black men. Mm -hmm. Y'all are dying from these obesity-related diseases, diabetes, all this kind of stuff. Y'all are dying from this stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This ain't some game. You know what I'm saying? This ain't like, yo, I I want your butt to be lifted. No, this is us living with each other, dog. You get what I'm saying? When you say y'all, are you talking about black women? I would say the same thing to black men. The first thing we say on this podcast for black men is to go work on yourself and get in the gym. This is what we tell black men. But when we say it to y'all, there's always a rebuttal. It's crazy. Just say you don't want to do the work. Just say say you don't want to do the work. Just say what you're trying to say without relating us to somebody else. Mm, Without let let it take all. You can't compare nobody else to black women. We can't just say black women. Black men, come on now. There's something going on in the food. There's something going on. Okay. We're, we're the most affected from high cholesterol, uh, heart attacks, strokes. List all as a community mm-hmm. collectively get back in the gym instead of it being, oh, yeah, black women, y'all, it's less of y'all than mm-hmm. there is I white women. Okay. Like, like, what, what does they, we what do, do they that's have fair. to do with that's anything fair. about right. us? We can do that. And that's where the, the argument comes in because think about the, the area you're in. Come on now. There's military out here, all types of military. And I can tell you right now, they're going to be in a the gym. They're going to be doing because they was the main one fighting for the rights to be equal to y'all. But y'all, we get the back end of that. Oh, yeah. Y'all want to be in our rights. Y'all want this. Y'all want that. They were the main ones. What's that have to do with the gym? She's talking about feminism, and y'all latched fe- on to that. I'm talking that about argument, feminism, though. but, but you the, still, no, the, can, no, same no, way, I'm just, the same way you're saying, was, what does no. that have to do? I'm saying, what does that have to do with us being in the gym? No, I'm going no, to stop you and say, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. We, I think we were just... I didn't say that. It was just, we were embellishing when we said the thing about there white women. There was no and, embellishment and, to and, my statement. It's no, I'm fact. saying, I'm talk, talking about for the pod, the the pod uh, material. That's going to oh, yeah. be a great clip. I don't care what nobody says. It's still a going to be a great clip. But even still, I can't, I'm not going to sit here and curve my logic. Like, I don't see many black women in the gym going hard like that. And the black women I see are older mm-hmm. or they're out of shape. They're not necessarily maintaining. And I hate to see it. I don't want to see it. Or they're I going in there to that. make like, those. I'm looking at them I saying, agree. I'm going to see you for this month. I'm in the gym every day. I've been going to the gym every day for the, since 2016. Every day. And I, only, I see the out of shape woman. She'll mm-hmm. go there for a month and then she'll stop. Mm-hmm. And I say this because y'all making it, when you make it that hard on yourself, you're going to quit. You're gonna quit. You're not gonna. You're not gonna think. You're not gonna say ten pounds, ten pounds, ten pounds. You're gonna say I need to yeah, lose this grind. whole like. You know what I'm saying? Like you're making it harder on yourself. I had the man, man, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Been and in I don't even gonna hold you because I, I had these same conversations with my dad. He posted something the other day. He's like, I just want to be able to go to the gym and lose hundred pounds in a day. And I put uh, shake in my head, and he was like, You will never comment on none of my stuff. I was like, Cause you lazy. You waited until you can't walk for real to decide to get up and go do something. But that's cool. Yeah. If that's the decision y'all want to make, I'm just trying to tell niggas when I was telling him before, like, Hey, bro, you should go to the gym. Gym not really for me. Da 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 da. And now look at you. You can barely walk. You got a roller machine in your living room, but you know what I'm saying. I can 50, 50, I can like. speak on my dad too. Like my dad's the polar opposite. He had two knee replacements. When I moved back in with my parents years ago, I was like, "Yo, you can come to the gym with me for as long as I gotta be here." He came to the gym with me every day. I went. He ain't stopped going. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's amazing. That is. Amazing. It's great. Mm-hmm. I love it. I, it actually makes me tear up. I'm like, yo. I got. I inspired you to continue back in your because he was just sitting on his on his stuff. He was retired, and I think that's one thing that kills us too. We retire, we stop moving, mm-hmm. and stuff settles, and we end up getting up out of here. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I think there's a care there. 
I am with you on the, the white woman. We can get white woman out of here. We get them out of here. here. We care about y'all. We want y'all to be healthy. We want us to be healthy. Yeah, Forget the, the finances, said- all that stuff. All that money good, but when you're in a casket, what happens? I'd actually love well, to see more with black girls in the gym. That's why I say it. So my thing it is, makes me mad, actually. If we're going to hold each other to the standard, why can't we hold our government to the same standard? And what they're putting in our food, the lack of education when it comes mm. down to black women and they forcing us to get birth control. Oh, yeah, get on birth control. Get on birth control. But you're not telling us about our ovulation periods. So you got young black girls in here getting on birth control and these hormones are making them gain weight. I think that's and there's that young, you like say. what she was that's- saying about how oh, oh, yeah, that leads to bulimia. That leads to women creating mm-hmm. eating disorders because mm-hmm. I'm living the same way. My 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 intake of food has not changed, but I cannot stop gaining weight. So I just stop eating in general. Mm-hmm. Then it becomes, oh, yeah, well, your, your body's going to feed off the food. Let's talk about, if we're going to talk about the circle, let's talk about the full circle. Mm-hmm. And it's not just about black women getting in the gym. It's not just about older black people getting in. It's the fact that you can get in the gym as much as you want. And I... I take it very personally because I was one of those people. I got in a gym. I was on a deployment in the Navy, climbing up ladder from the moment I jumped out my bed at 530 and I went back to bed at 830 at night. I was moving and I did not gain no weight. I was on birth control. I took the birth control out. Then I went to see a specialist. It's visceral fat. Do we even know about visceral fat? It's not just about working out. It's about educating ourselves and educating yeah. ourselves about the yeah. stuff that's going into our body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll say this. I'll say this. We can't hold the government accountable. We can't. But that's going to take something that we're not ready for. I think we just got to be aware of what they do. But a lot of the times, women don't listen to that. We did that when y'all was... uh. Running with feminism. We was like, yo, this is not for y'all. Mm-hmm. They was pushing BC and all that stuff on y'all. <clears throat> this is not for y'all. I know a lot of women that get on BC and you're correct. Right. It, it fluctuates their weight. Mm-hmm. Period. Yep. And a lot of black women fall for that. So it's about being aware of the... And then I will say, the same work ethic that it takes to go to the gym, you're going to need it five times to be disciplined in the kitchen. So if you can't, if you can't go to the gym... Four, two, I mean, three or four times a week, you're not going to be able to curve your eating habits. You know how many addictions are there? Mm. Yep. So that's, this is, this is elementary school. Going to the gym is elementary school. The hard work is really about the stuff you're talking about. Right. So if you can't go to the gym regularly, mm-hmm. you're not going to be able to do half that stuff you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then it's just, and then it's being aware of the, the system. But a lot of y'all, Y'all benefit off this system. Mm-hmm. So y'all yeah. don't want to betray it. Y'all don't really want to turn against it like that. Because y'all benefit off of it. We're going down a whole nother yeah. road now. That's a whole nother road. That's a whole nother route. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a whole nother Definitely. podcast, for real. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's a whole yeah, nother two I'm, hours. I'm not doing these other clips. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know this is the last clip I told you. <laughs> no, I'm not. <sighs> I don't even know how we got there, but uh, I think it, was, it had to be yeah, talked about. We were joking at first. It was good, though. <laughs> <laughs> it got real. Yeah, watch, you know, watch every, it joke, every joke. Every joke. Every joke. Every fight who, started off a joke. Who looked at your table? <laughs> what you say, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> she who's pulled irritated? up on your, she pulled up on our bumper. What the fuck y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> white women, what? Right. I do think that's I don't funny. Like that. Shout out to the white women. Me neither. <laughs> Stop. Shout, huh? shout out. To, Stop. No, shout out to white women. Shout out to white women. Shout out to white Everybody women. Everybody brings something. I don't see no table. white women. I don't see none of them. I don't see y'all. I swear to God. <laughs> you see. <laughs> shout out to all the Caucasians, man. Yo, what? shut up. This is Spanish, not for them. The Spanish chicks be in the gym more than black women too. No, it's not. Look at our mission yeah. statement. It don't say shit about white people. Oh. It's not for y'all. You can watch. Nah, hi. It's yeah, it's not. It's not for you. But hi. They be, they be all the how, how you gonna close this out, dude? <laughs> I don't know. Man. How this up, bro? <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, make a mess. Please, of it. Clean it up, please. <laughs> I don't know. We I just don't say it's so minutes. weird to me. All that should be weird to me. Like right. niggas say that shit to me, I'd be like, damn, he right. I'm falling off. I need to tighten up. You can't say that shit to no women. You'd be like, what? Um, accountability is hard to take, bro. It definitely is. It's hard to take. You know what though? I wish y'all would have a... told me that shit thirty pounds in. Like, yo, Dean, what's up with you, bro? This mm. ain't you. Mm-hmm. Then it was a year, so then I had people that met me. Shout out to Bricks. When Bricks, I told him, I was like, oh, bro, I'm going to do the stairs every day. I'm going to do the do. He's like, man, that's not sustainable. But he ain't know me, so he thought the husky nigga he met was who I am. There you go. So you walking yeah. around, that's who people think you are when niggas first meet you. Mm-hmm. Right. I've been 180 for like all my life. I've been strong as hell my whole life. So I was like, no, nah, this shit going to be easy. I just set my mind to it and did it. But I didn't get in my feelings when niggas said nothing to me about it. 
One time, and y'all think Willie, Willie's mean, a nice guy, but me and Willie, me and Willie though. walking out somewhere, and he said something to his son. I said something. He said, "Yo, don't listen to Kadeem. He just mad because he fat and he out of shape." Yeah. <laughs> I will say that. I will say that. <laughs> and I just was like, "True." I will and say I did something about it. Yeah. <laughs> what else are you gonna say? I'm not, if I'm not the same person, I you know that everybody know that they always yeah. well. I'm comfortable with this. I'm comfortable with that. Are you really though? Okay, wait. No, I'm not talking about you. And don't talk. No, I'm, nah, not I'm, I'm that. still talking. Hey, Mike. All right, nigga. When, especially as a guy, you know when you get up, you start feeling sluggish, you start moving different, your energy's mm-hmm. different. Shit, sex ain't the same. None of this shit's the fucking same, bro. No, it's a fact. Your blood ain't circulating the same or none of that shit. Mm-hmm. Dick don't even get the hard the same. I'm trying to tell y'all. You talking. You talking? No, you, you gotta look in the mirror for <laughs> real and be real with yourself. He's not lying. You gotta be real with yourself. Even with, <laughs> even with the sugars that we eat, like yeah. if you if you're eating a lot of sugars in, in, in your diet, that can change the regularity in your. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, that, that, he's not lying. And nobody sat there and was like, man, you know, no, man, fuck all that shit, man. Go what be the best version of you. Do? No. no even though I'm telling you, I was editing an old relationship episode when me and Caitlin was both like in that phase, and I was like, you nasty. And she was like, what? I was like, you fuck this nigga? How dare you fuck a nigga that look like that? And I was like, I ain't gonna hold you. If you look like that right now, I wouldn't fuck with you. Damn. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But you were, but you did. No, we were both in that. <laughs> all right, y'all. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you, what you're saying is if you weren't in that. If I wasn't. Uh, yes. No, that's not. I'm not with it. I'm sorry. Do we not. want Do we want honesty for real? Yep. I do. Yep. Do we? I do. Yep. <laughs> I don't want honesty. I just don't want you to be redundant with it. I you do. You can tell me if you don't like how I'm looking right now. I don't, don't want to hear it every time redundant, I fucking see you. But I don't think honesty is ever redundant. The but truth, there's a right difference when I between said honesty and brutally honest. Yeah, no, no, I don't even care about that. But what I'm saying is I don't need to hear it every fucking time I see you. No, 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 no. We're not going to drill it down but okay what about that's what i'm saying what if what if you say a, a man and he's not managing his money right and then it keeps happening you're gonna keep bringing it up or you're gonna leave him uh, it depends because you got to give men that space to be able to feel like they can make mistakes and grow okay you yeah. can't keep driving you can't beat a dead horse because then right. that man's never gonna feel safe to make a mistake around you or in mm-hmm. front of you, and I but, don't want secrets in my relationship. But when it comes right. to I'm money, you just keep doing fuck it. it up right when quick. it comes yeah. to, so you just gonna keep it doing it. You just gonna it, keep giving grace. Yes, I'm saying when it comes to money. No. It's, it's, but then at that <laughs> no, at that point, it's not a mistake. That's your character. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there, what's the, no, no, so the so so told you that's right there. So what's, told you right Semantics. There. So what's the difference? <laughs> what's the difference between go you ahead. saying a woman needs to go to the gym and then she doesn't? She keeps not going. That says nothing about her character. I'm not arguing with you to stay with that woman. Okay. Because me True. personally, okay, no, no. I'm not going to be with a right. husky man. When y'all see that like, article of the man that says, oh, I left her. Now, let me tell you the real reason why I left her. Because I was telling her for two years to get in shape and she didn't. Y'all, what y'all going to say about him? Nothing. Nothing. He okay. I'm He's within not going to say anything. That's y'all. Y'all, y'all too. Let's say, let's say, what would the no, comments look like? But then y'all no, no, let no, no, people no, no, who are going out getting BBLs determine the standard. Wait, no. I don't. Ooh. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like his. I don't like his. Smoke. I don't like his question. Come on now. Let me. Let me redirect this question. And we don't. What, we don't adhere what, to BBLs here. What do y'all think? Yeah, we don't. What do y'all, we don't. What do y'all think the, the the masses of women will say to that man? Not. Yeah, we'll be honest. Honest. What would that comment wrong. section look like? He's yeah. wrong. Da, da, da. He hates women. Black yeah. people. Why do y'all love that. going to he hate women? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so easy. It's just broad. Right. <laughs> but you know what? It's just right there in the pocket. He hates, Pow, women. hates women. <laughs> that shit come from Game a lack of. I need to know. <laughs> Not knowing what love is for real. <laughs> I need y'all. to know if I'm yeah. alone though, and yeah. I want but people to tell me in the comments, right? Because I'll be damned if. You know, if I'm happy and living my life or whatever, then I decide to lose weight and somebody else fucking tell me it's because they said something, I'll be fucking damned. You ain't so going to take credit for nothing. So what? They can't take credit matter. for the work you put in. Thank you. Exactly. What so do you what? That's what people do, though. But who cares? They can't. They don't say, oh, you got fit because I remember I said something to you and da 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 da. I'll be fucking damned. Who cares? Is it true? I did everything Lydia, I did is it for true? Nah, Lydia, Lydia, is it true? Huh? Lydia, is it true? Is what true? People be is it true? The wrong is what true? Did you get in the gym and get in shape because of them? Is it true? Fuck no. Okay then. Yeah. That's it. You okay. just gotta move on. Projection. Who cares? Other people. Yeah, you gotta move on. Their projections off on CU. When when exactly. when whoever said whatever I don't remember who said something to you, bro. But when whoever said that could, to, to Kadeem, Kadeem had a choice to make in that in that moment. That was just life happening. He had a mm-hmm. choice to make. It was a fork in the road. He could have either been like, oh okay, I'm gonna get huskier. Right. I know, <laughs> I know an example. <laughs> yeah. or, or, look, go what this what way. did my little brother look like, Lydia? So that's what a power he's is. He's happy with how he looks too. And that's fine for him because he's. It happy ain't with fine. It. it ain't fine. 
It ain't. It's fine for him. It's he, not. He, he fine. He, it's whatever not. Whatever you want to do. It is fine. He should. It is but fine in hindsight. However he no, want to look. It's, it's it is fine in fine, hindsight. Bro. It is fine in hindsight. It's how he want to look. I hear what you're saying, Kadeem. It's not fine. But in hindsight, it is. If it's people not. Get to live, people get to live their lives the way they want to live them. What you that said last time you was here, get out of the country and go see how many people walking around That like is that. very true. Nasty that goes work. America That's external motivation. And America, we have this thing about not telling people no. Everybody mm-hmm. feels like I should be allowed to do what I want to do. And if freedom. you don't let me do what I want to do, then you're hating. It's freedom. You're you're fat phobic. You're homophobic. And it's yeah. like, no. That like, at, yeah, Why would I be scared point, of you? Like, if I run, you can't you even see catch what I'm me. Saying? <laughs> at some point, it's just like, You're going to be out of breath. <laughs> you don't need <laughs> steps yeah, run up a flight three of Big Macs a day. Like, you don't phobic. need to have two I Big Macs. You don't need to supersize everything. Like, you can chill. But I think we just live in that society where it's like, don't tell me no. If you do tell me no, I'm put a label why, on you. Why do you think in mm-hmm. other countries more people are? In, I mean, obviously they walk around and eat mm-hmm. different, blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. But do you think they care about themselves differently, or just Americans just don't give a fuck? Which one is it? I just think they. I do think they care about themselves differently, but at the same time, I think that there's a standard and a societal bar. There's a culture. There's a culture, like we're gonna care about what goes into our body because we're temples, and I feel, and that's the. It could go so deep. It was. America, America was a revolt. It was a, it yeah. was a revolt against said culture. Not okay. saying that freedom wasn't good. They fought for freedom, but then they didn't reestablish a culture. They just said, "We're just gonna be free here," and this is the yep. price of freedom. Mm-hmm. When you we, give people freedom, like if I just leave my kids in the house alone, what do you think gonna happen to them? That's freedom. What do you think is gonna happen to them? <laughs> They're not gonna end up good. No. That's what's happening to us. It's, it's, it's no difference. Mm-hmm. No difference. We got freedom. You got the option to go here, go there, go here, go there. So that's what you're gonna do. There's no real streamlined uh, path to walk, so we're not going to hit none of our goals. We're not going to progress. We're just going to be running around thinking this progress, but we're really just contributing to the people who really have the goal, and those are the people that run this shit. Right. I, I, just to piggyback off that, just like to give another example uh, of that. Remember how it used to be like when you were like growing up and you had to have like certain rules with your parents and mm-hmm. your household? Like, What happened the second you got out of her household or out of your parents' household and you went to college or something like that and you had that little inch of freedom? You wowed the fuck out. You wowed out. Yeah. But then what happens happens after that small period of you wowding out? Because me at 26, you dial back and you you hit your parent up and you're like, Mom, thank you for making yeah. me get up yeah. on Saturday mornings and clean my... Thank you, Ma. Like, because I live with this person on the ship. Can I live I with this person. A Mac. A Mike. Mm-hmm. I'm just it's playing. It's kind of like, <laughs> it's funny. Shit, nigga, I'm talking. Like, it's hey, like, Mike, like, bro. No, I'm just playing. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, but I'm just saying, like, I, I feel like for the most part, and y'all say I'm not that close <laughs> to 30, I'm knocking, right? I had those moments, even with my mom. Me and my mom do not have the best relationship. My mom has bipolar disorder. Mm-hmm. My father was a crackhead. I still hit my mom up and be like, Mom, I understand what you were saying. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. I still, uh, I appreciate you for holding me at some type of standard. I can't wait for them calls. Because you don't see it until you get older. You don't see mm-hmm. it until it matters. You don't see it until at some point you think about having your own children and you looking at other people like, damn, I can imagine my child going off and doing the only whatever the fuck she wants to do mm-hmm. because you feel like you got to make money. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And not realizing that money don't control you. Like, you control money. Mm-hmm. I that'd can't be, imagine. That'd be our fear as parents, though. Because we, we want y'all to go out and learn, like, from the world. But then there's some things, when you learn, there's some things you lose that you can't get back. Yeah. Like, you can learn through through uh, hardship and stuff, but then there's some things you just can't get back. So we, I would love to get them calls from Kennedy. And some of them things, I want the majority of it to just be like, you take for what I say for what it is, and you actually impart, and you actually actionalize it, and you actually make it into something rather than, like, scraping your knee and all that stuff and, mm-hmm. and learning on your own and learning on the fly and all that stuff. You, I don't know. There's just a lot of risk there. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. No, Chris, right? All right, wrap it up. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all want to stop? <laughs> yeah. No, super Tad. Yeah, we got like two hours. Y'all done this fat shame niggas. And oh, no. The game already started? <laughs> and the funny thing is, I oh, fuck with Eric. I fuck with him oh, about the gym. I fuck with him about the gym. I, I fuck with mad time. people about the gym. Like, the gym is serious to me. Two Shit. hours to the game. Hood will be at the gym and then post like he just was eating waffles. I'm like, nigga, what? <laughs> the fuck are you doing? I respect. 
Flex. Flex. Yeah, exactly. But I fuck with everybody about the gym. It's something that is it, it matters to me. And I think more people of color, fuck the white people, right? We'll take them out of it. We need to be in the gym. Yeah. I see plenty of black dudes in the gym. I really wish I seen more of my they sisters in, in the gym. That's all I was saying. And these white girls is on their ass. Y'all might find your husband in there too. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Y'all might find your husband in there too. Them white girls is on them dudes' tail too in there. Yeah. That's another Every whole white girl thing. I be like, oh, she alright looking. And then, then a week later, it'd be a dude, a black dude on her ass. Facts. I'm telling you. Training her. Or something. <laughs> and, I'm telling you. more than one way. <laughs> I'm telling you. I, my girl go to the gym, but I just really be like, damn, man, I really like wish. Or I seen them in the gym not just going in there to get a couple flicks off and then leave. Yo, I've seen that. I hate that. I've literally seen that happen. Me too. I seen a girl get on the stairs. Be on the stairs for maybe two and a half minutes, record, and get off. No, and go I to the next machine, do, like do squats, boom, boom, and get out. And then boom, boom, and get out. Because it's, it's like, oh, I'm just going to post this for content, but she not really. Like, that would that would be a turn off for me, too. I was about to yeah, say, she did bad. more than the chicks I saw. Oh. They just got the yoga mat. They did. They both traded the phones, took some pictures like they was working out, and they left. I literally watched them leave the gym. I was like, oh. Nasty. <laughs> Damn. That's not cool. I don't like it. I don't like it. Anyway, it ain't for everybody. White women keep doing better than black women. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Damn, oh. we about to go. No. We about to go. We're not endorsing that. No. We got to go there. Hey, complete joke. Hey, don't clip that complete. up. <laughs> complete. No, clip God it up. Damn. No, they're going to cancel us, bro. <laughs> we about to go up. Clip it up. Clip this box. Hey, clip that. We're going to be monetized tomorrow. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> endorse that message, bro. White woman. No, we don't endorse that message. Uh, I like the message. No, we I don't endorse We want better for black women. We, we want do. better for everybody. Do we, we do. though? No, we do. Jeez. Y'all gonna make me suck because we don't really fuck I with BBL. I give up. Hey, black this women. has been a women, 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 women get BBL to impress other women. No, 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 no. Let's have this conversation. Let's have this conversation. Let's talk about BBL. Let's have this conversation. Okay, so women get BBLs to impress other women. I think so. Why? And ball players. Why? They they see the women that are always on my timeline because that's an algorithm that's programming. Okay, those are the ones to the forefront all the time. But what about the women? That are like, okay, I just want that head start. I just want to be able to, you know, get this fat room. And I'm not talking about B- just BBLs. I'm talking about Lipo 360, BBLs, tummy tuck, the mommy makeovers, the women that mm-hmm. decided to have four, five, six children for a she man. Goodness. Okay, so what about Lipo Superhero. 360? I think y'all don't really know. Are what we just I... talking about BBLs specifically? I think Let y'all. I'm talking about BBLs specifically. If if my girl, if we have four kids and she was like, I don't like the way my she body look, okay. I would get her that. So what if what if your we girl was gym, on birth control and she was like, okay, I want lipo three C. I want to take this fat out. First, we're gonna to stop taking the birth control. Go okay. to the gym, see what happens, like we did in real life, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna go. If what if necessary. none of that works? If it doesn't work, yeah. If it's okay. necessary, yeah. well, I'm getting Not my lipo three sixty surgery on Tuesday. Y'all wish me good luck. Damn. Debut yes. album. Give me a give me a bomb. I'm not Come on, a bomb give me a bomb. And shit. <laughs> yeah, we got a fart noise. Come on, y'all shit. clap for me. <laughs> I'll drop it. Yeah. Should have right. put the hard yeah. right. oh. Y'all wish me, y'all wish me a happy a recovery, a happy surgery. Uh, don't yes. Do that. yes. Yeah. I am. Like nah, I am. I'm praying. I am. Are you gonna go I'm, to the gym after? Of course. Praying I'm gonna go to the but I'm even sure. like how about how See? how I eat does did not change. It did. It I don't eat the same. I've still been going to the gym. You're not like, doing a fat transfer, are you? No, okay. I'm not, because I'm already thin, maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 but I'm still going to eat. <laughs> but you let like, yourself into that one. Like, 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 I don't know. Yeah. Since I asked you a question, if she didn't have her shape, would you still be where? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hey, no, 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 she was she I would, I be no. She would not have been with you at five four. Y'all would never have made it to this point. It's okay. You know what's crazy? I've never been with anybody like her size for real. I've been with people always smaller than her. Yeah. She's the first. Petite. Very petite. Okay. Super skinny. So yeah. Okay. From the south. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like her personality. It's not about good. looks Wait, and shit like that. Babe. Okay. You still look good though. You still I'm gonna drop a bomb for my right guy. Places. He cooking over there. Yeah. I fuck with her personality. Said, let, me, let, me, let me get back in the ball game. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm afraid, with your personality. <laughs> 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 Oh, he loved me for God. me. We're wrapping it up. We're wrapping he loved me for this me. This is the podcast episode 131. This is supposed to be like an anniversary episode, kind of, but not really, I guess. I still fuck Valentine's Day. I'm trying to podcast.
It's a bill. 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 It's a b